Hi, Vought Channel. How are you guys doing? Uh, we are playing some more Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. They, they did yet another update. It feels like literally yesterday they did the previous new update that added a new ghost to the church map. But here we go again. It's another new update. They have added a new ghost to the uh, small map that they added like very recently that only had one ghost until now. It had the very terrifying demon, which was a lot of fun. I think we actually might investigate that one again because it was just so cool. So we're going to... Go to that map first, check out the new ghost, which I don't even know what type of ghost it is. Uh, I have no idea. We're going to find it in, our, in the email, I'm guessing. Um, and then we're going to also go back to the church map, I think, if we have enough time for that, because they have completely reworked the... Well, not completely reworked, but they have tweaked the numbers on the lady in white, and it will now show up a lot more than it used to, which... It used to not show up at all. Like, whatever you did, you could not get the lady in white to show up. So I want to do an investigation on that uh, on that ghost as well to see if we can finally find it. And then after that, if we have the time, again, this is all just, I don't know how long this is all going to take. But if we have the time, we're also going to check out the new Ghost Watchers update, which has gotten two new ghosts as well as some new mechanics. So yeah, a lot of the game full of new updates for ghost hunting games. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. We're going to just go say hi, YouTube. Have a great time. Let's do it. Here we go. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. It feels like literally yesterday that I was uh, here with a video on a brand new update for this game, but every other week this dev just creates a new update that adds new ghosts, uh, new mechanics to the already existing ghosts. It is just crazy how hard this dev works. I have to commend them for that. But yeah, we are here once again with another new update for the most realistic ghost hunting game that exists today. Uh, this is an absolutely fantastic game uh, that is really moving in a very interesting direction that none of the other ghost hunting games are doing it is gonna basically turn into an open world ghost hunting game where you can travel around locations and go to different buildings uh, all these different buildings have different ghosts uh, and these ghosts are actually uh, pr not procedurally generated like usual ghost hunting games but they have their own story they have their own dialogue or not dialogue but their monologue lines that they talk to you uh, they have that you can actually talk to them as well if you're using an EVP uh, some they will show up in different ways Ways. It is just a really interesting game with a lot of different ways the ghost can express themselves, which makes this a really fun game to play. And this time we're going to check out the new update, which adds a new ghost and also change some of the uh, ghosts on the church map. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Let's do it. Alrighty, so I don't know how... So there's a new ghost on a small map, actually, uh, which it's on Jefferson Street House. Does that show up in the email? Let's quickly check out the email. Conrad, please help me. My name is Dolores Slocum, and... Which, that name. <laughs> and I am the mother of three children, Ceci, Bernie, and Evi. Ceci, Ceci, my oldest child, has been worrying me with her behavior, and it is why I am contacting you. To put things simply, I feel that I have been the best mother I can be, but my Ceci is beyond my reach i don't want to disclose too much but she's been getting she has gotten herself in quite a mess recently it's gotten to the point where social services have been out to my home and questioning my ability to parent my own children it may seem ridiculous but i believe she may be possessed by some terrible spirit she did not always behave the way she does now in fact i distinctly recall her behavior changing rather disruptly about three months ago we have lived in our house for about three years with the first six months of living here from time to time i would see shadows passing in my peripheral. I work so much and I'm exhausted most of the time, so at the time I figured it was just me being tired. However, six months after my initial sighting, I started to hear a woman's disembodied voice from behind the walls. At first it seemed like maybe our neighbors had their TV on, up too loud, but now after the last visit from social services, Cece started talking in tongues. As I sta started to reflect on everything going on, I started to believe that there is something paranormal going on. Over the last week I've been trying to be more observant, knowing I was going to contact you. It seems like the shadows appear around the bedrooms of the house. I have heard the woman's voice in almost every room, uh, almost every room on the main floor, but not as regularly as I see the shadows. All, all, additionally, 
In my opinion, I believe that there are unusual changes in temperature throughout the house. From what I have read online about these occurrences, I am convinced there is some kind of spirit in our home. I am so looking forward to your response. I just want things to be back to normal again. So there's actually two ghosts on this map. One, as you might have already uh, been able to tell based on the, on the description here, there is a, a ghost possessing one of the children. So that's one ghost we are going to investigate. But then there's also the new ghost, which is the woman and the shadows the woman's voice crying i don't think that was there before so we're gonna add those notes to our collection and then we're gonna head into the map and see what this is all about let's go uh all right so what notes do we have we have voices heard and all did i get all the notes from this there's one two three notes in this i think that's all the notes possessed often speaking disembodied voices voice heard in most of rooms um and then we have some archives maybe jefferson street we have... Oh, yeah, we do. One, two... Wait, this is all? We, we can't even have full notes? <laughs> there, there are four notes? There are four notes in the email? Okay, so I missed one. Also, what the heck are you guys doing? Kurz, Kurgis girl. thank you for the three months. Demon Ream, thank you for the six months. Chaos Com Company, thank you for the seven months. Octomary with the three months. Hand the sieve with the four months. Usagi with the 13 months. Roanoke with the two months. Guardian with the ten, 10 months. Hakar Hakaro Hakaro with the with the ten months Mato with the fifteen months Gelter Darkfist with the Prime Scardo Scardio with the four months Jesus Christmas Eileen with the five months Aseti Star with the three months Thank you guys All right Let me check the email again because there's apparently one more note here Where Where What Plastic Plush Thank you for the five gift subs I don't see it There's one There's two There's one two Let's see One Two Three. I don't think there's more than. I think there's only, only three notes. Oh wait, no. Here. No. Here. This one. Oh. Oh, this one. No. This one. No. This one. Yes. Possess. E possession equals demon. There we go. Okay. So we have all six notes. We don't have any more. I guess that's it. So perfect. We go in with maximum activity. Then we go in with the maximum activity for the demon and for the other new ghost. So let's just uh, head in there. And see what it's gonna be like. Also, I need to turn up the audio because it's always kind of kind of quiet in this game. Oh baby, here it goes. Jefferson Street. Look at this. We already investigated the demon, which if you didn't see that one, it might have been my greatest scare in this game. Yet this ghost is absolutely terrifying. Now we've collected 10 out of the eight audio logs. I don't know how that works exactly, but we're definitely going to see this ghost again because we do have some notes on this ghost right now. But there's an entirely new ghost that we can't even see yet. So let's find that one and see what they got in store for us. I feel terrible about Dolores' situation. Bad. Possession is such a controversial topic, and quality help is often difficult to find. I guess the best thing I can do to help is determine if anything paranormal is going on in their home. If it is, then I should obtain as much evidence as possible. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence right. to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Put their minds at ease that their daughter is in fact haunted. I don't think that's a very... <laughs> I don't think it's going to make them very happy, but all right, here we are. I haven't been to a small map in a little while because uh, we've been investigating the church a ton because a ton, there's still like three or four ghosts that we have never seen on the church map. So we're definitely going to make another video where we go like purely to the church map and, oh, and check out the new, uh, new lady in white ghost as well. That light was already on when I came in, right? Um, hello there. How are you doing? Let's check our, uh, let's check some tools. We got our night vision. Which is very neon green today. Uh, excuse me? I just pulled out my EMF and there's immediately a ghost. I think this house is haunted. Wait, where? Where'd it go? No! I missed it. All right, but we found a, we found a ghost right away. Okay, so on the main floor, there's some stuff going on. That's for sure. It's also cold here. Uh, how do I change space bar? There you go. It's 21 degrees. A nice temperature in here. I'm just going to keep the light on. I th That's making me feel better. Um... Alrighty. Well, it seems like I heard something. It seems like the ghosts are active here, and they they were active on the um 
on the on the ground floor, right? Let's let's read. So Cecilia is dabbling with black arts. She is also demonic. She is possessed and often speaks in tongues. And uh, possession means that we are dealing with a demon here. Now those are the notes for the demon ghost. Then we have two notes on the other ghost. Voices heard in most of the rooms, and then also disembodied voices. So there's gonna be a lot of audio happening i'm guessing uh now this this map let's let's lead you through the map we got the room that i think this is cecilia's room um we should check this out every now and then to see what's going on in here uh we got the children's the two children's room we got the mom's room because she was a single mom right that seemed what it uh what it said in the in the email and then we got over here uh i think it's this way we got a very creepy basement <laughs> Wait, yeah, it is here. Oh boy, let's go into the basement. Let's see what's going on here. Hi, ghosts. Uh, I mean, definitely ghosts down here. I mean, look at this place. Any any place that has a build a basement, I'm so glad I don't have a basement. I don't. Basements are not very common in the Netherlands. Not many places have them. You have crawl spaces, but those are even more fucked up. Who's gonna like stay in a crawl space? I mean, this this place is dirty. Why do you even have this if you're not using it at all? I mean, there's a. Incredible. I captured a ghost on film. What? Excuse me? <laughs> ah! What the hell's going on? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Demon, could you chill the hell out? Unusual noise. That's a very <laughs> unusual noise, he said. Did you not see the eyeballs? Uh, Mr. Conrad, are you okay? Uh, well, something is... <laughs> what the fuck go away from me? Is it cold here? Dude, Conrad is chilling. Oh. Are you just why is this this goes freaking crazy? Wait, I'm so fast now? Did my sprint get faster? Did my character get adrenaline from all the jump scares? What the This ghost is insanely active? What the frick? That was a very unusual noise. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I don't wanna be here anymore. You, there's two, so there's not just that ghost. Oh, there's not just that ghost. There's also another ghost. Oh, there it is. There's the other ghost. Oh, no, no, don't go away. Come on. Don't go in the walls. Let's go. I should continue investigating. Go, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, come on. We were so close. All right, so there's another ghost right here. Uh, are you gonna do any voices? Maybe we can have a little chat. No, don't do that. I wanted to have a chat. Uh, maybe in this Ooh, room. That is eerie audio evidence. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, Conrad, you're scaring me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh wait, new interface. Look at that. Wait, we got new questions. What? Can you tell me your name? Wait, we got new uh, new interface. Look at that. Can you tell me your name? That is nice. Uh, I already have it up to the maximum volume, right? Oh, wait, no, what the hell? Did they change the volume setting in the last up? Oh my god, that's way too loud. Is it? It's probably gonna be too loud. Now we're gonna get jump scared like crazy. Get ready. How loud is Conrad? Is there anyone here? J Jesus, like Conrad! To speak with me? <laughs> Just calm down. I'm gonna reduce the volume again. This is way too much. Conrad is loud. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Gotta turn it up again. Don't worry. Okay, no ghost. I have no idea what type the new ghost is. It could be a residual, so it might not even talk to me. Or because it's she said disembodied voices, right? I'm not sure. That sounds like it's gonna be something that it's gonna make a lot of noise. But I'm not hearing anything right now. Hello? I'm hearing footsteps. Those are. I heard that. That was whispers. Did I get that? I did not get it. Fuck. But I heard that. That was creepy whispering. Creepy, creepy whispering going on. We don't have any cold temperatures, right? Let's check cold temperatures maybe here. Oh, there you go. Unless that's the fan. That's probably the fan. Yeah, that's the fan. <laughs> These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Shut up. Don't, don't gaslight me, Conrad. I know something's, miss something's amiss here. Something's wrong. 
Maybe we check the basement again. Is that demon still going crazy? So what's really interesting about this game, as you might have already recognized, is that there's multiple ghosts active on the same map at all times. So you can't investigate different ghosts. Then you can go from one ghost to another and get some evidence there and bounce between them, which is a really interesting uh, dynamic that you don't have in any other ghost hunting game. Uh, oh, I can turn on this light. Nice. Are you still going to show up there? This ghost calm now? Maybe? Hello? What did we get already? We already got a photo. We got some EMF readings. We got some audio evidence. We got some... We got a literal photograph as soon as the game... Oh, no. The fans just turned off. That's okay. Um, is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Oh, that was not the button I wanted to press. Me, no. Thank you for the seven months and creating. Thank you for the 22 months. I would like to ask you... Do you like the... Why here? Why are you here? Hey, you can't ask, are you... Wait, do you like the current family anymore? That question doesn't exist. Why are you here? No answer. Live here? Is this your home? Why are you running? <laughs> How many people are here? Is this your home? Wow, that <laughs> sounded like a response. All right then. <laughs> uh did i ask are you living here and he started laughing at me why am i here I know why i'm here <laughs> i don't know if i know why i'm here anymore i think i gotta leave do you know why I'm dude here? we're getting so much evidence it's just starting this is so much different from the church map the church map is like super slow investigating and the small maps are, are a lot faster paced okay so let's go up we need to see if we can find the the remaining EMF, because there was... Oh, maybe? Yes? This is normal? The EMF meter should not oh. behave this way. This is paranormal. Uh, what's happening? Yeah, there's... I, I thought I heard... Oh, there's cold spots. Wait, there was a cold spot. It's gone! There was some, some rumble going on in the house that I did not couldn't fully place. I don't know if that was a ghost or if that was just my imagination. Okay. What? I thought that, I thought that for a very unusual noise. I thought I for a second you see those lights in the in the in the window? I thought the ghost was outside and those were its eyeballs. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me, man. What? There's so much sound happening. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Oh, we need to we need to go to our computer after this and like replay this audio because we're getting so much audio. Now I've also been told there's new notes to find on this ghost that's gonna make them even more active. So we're gonna have to look around. Uh they're apparently I think on the they were on the main floor. Let me quickly double check if that was the case. Um, because I know the dev told me something about where to find these. Um they are, let's see. Uh, there, there's two pickups. No, they're in the basement. Okay, they're in the basement. So we need to look around in the basement. And I was wrong. Let's check the basement. Maybe we can find some notes. And maybe we can see a demon. Who knows? Look at this mirror, by the way. You see how the mirror works is that it can see what I see. So if I shine the light on the wall, the mirror reflects the wall. But if the wall is dark, it doesn't reflect, which is weird. All right, ghosty pants. I'm not afraid of you. You're afraid of me. I don't know if that's true, but I'm. I'm. Oh, that's that's totally fine. What would be in the bit? Where would you have these pickups? Would they just be on? Oh, here. Oh, that was a pick. Oh, that's a light switch. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is there? Uh, maybe in here. I mean, there's lots of stuff on the ground here. I don't know if one of these is gonna be a pickup. Oh. No, oh, that's just the lights. Right <laughs> Ooh, that is eerie. What the fuck evidence. was that? You hear that? That was some kind of len or something? Okay, I think we need to collect EMF first. I don't think the demon likes to give EMF, so let's check upstairs first. Because the other ghost is doing a lot of stuff here. I'm not sure if we can see that ghost. Can we see that ghost? Oh, that's the TV. The TV will give EMF in this game, which is... I love that detail. Hello there, ghosty pants. 
Are you here? I am friendly. There's a lot of ghosts. It's not just one. I'm gonna turn up the volume even more. We can hear it so loud. If we get jump scared now, it's gonna be we're all gonna die. Give me EMF. We just need a tiny bit of EMF. Also, we need cold spots, right? Oh no, that's the fan. That's the fan again. Oh, here we go. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. What? 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 Nothing paranormal? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that, Conrad? What the fuck is going on? Someone was outside. Nothing? What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why was that normal? That was not normal. It was like 12 degrees. There were footsteps. There were whispers. This is all kind of weird shit happening, man. So we already know. Oh, here we go. Hmm, these temperatures. Nice. Oh, it's, so, it's so cold. Holy shit. Something is nice. These temperatures. Can I get the EMF too? Definitely okay. Paranormal. Oh, that's normal. What is that from? Wait, what was that from? Oh, we have. Do you already have EMF? Yeah. Okay. So we have everything. We have the EMF. We have the temperature data. So, uh, now the ghosts are going to be even more active. Because the way this game works is that the more evidence you collect... The more evidence collect, the a more active the ghosts become. What the frick? What the frick? Here, I hear stuff. I'm going to hold my hold on to my cam. They didn't see sightings though, right? They didn't see creepy sightings. So maybe we're not going to see them. Whoa, Roanoke! Thank you for the 20 gift subs. Thank you. You're crazy. So you need to collect evidence and then the ghosts become more and more active over time. Uh, and the game is uh, created in such a way that you're kind of incentivized to go to the mission multiple... What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. <laughs> Fuck you, Conrad, you piece of shit. <laughs> what a rare experience. Are you talking to me? He is freaking flaming. What if I come over here? I can just look you straight in the eyeballs. I think that's not a great idea. Where the? Oh no, I'm. St oh, I thought I was stuck on the ghost. Where the heck are these two notes you talked about? I know, I know. You're a demon, and you you sound like you, you sound like you're having a great time. I'm just here to find some notes, my friend. Until you try and kill me, I don't give a shit. He will definitely try and kill me. And that, that was what I wanted to talk about. You good, man? <laughs> there is, um... They're gonna change some systems in the game, which soon enough, like, in a in an up, update that's gonna come, like, early next year, they're gonna change it so that the ghosts will actually be able to harm you. What the fuck? Will actually be able to harm you yeah, when they like show up evidence. so you will have to run away from them like they're just gonna be actual hunts in this game basically which is gonna change the whole atmosphere that's gonna be terrifying but it's only gonna be for ghosts that are like uh demons and stuff yeah i don't think the node spawned this time unless i am severely blind i don't think the node spawned which that can just happen you can sometimes just have known hello I'll keep that as audio evidence. I'll keep that as audio evidence. I think I want to... We're going to come back here. Uh, and I want to quickly check what the sounds of the... Like, because we had a lot of... I'm trying to talk here. Garbage, dude. This ghost is crazy. <laughs> we had a lot of audio recordings for the ghost that's in the walls here. But we didn't see it at all. Uh, and we, we didn't hear some of the audio properly. So I kind of want to go out... Is that another noise? Ooh, that is what eerie the audio fuck? evidence. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I'm out. Goodbye. We're coming back. I'll see you next time, idiot. What was that? I heard a step right as I left. I'm going. No, don't talk to me. 
<laughs> That's gonna be a golden trophy, by the way. But you should try and collect as many golden trophies as you can, because in the next update when they're gonna add more items to the game you'll be able to use these golden trophies to buy the items so that's gonna be the currency the currency is every time you do a perfect investigation you get this golden trophy that's gonna go into your collection and then you can spend them on items which is cool there's no like money system it's raining outside okay so uh what kind of audio did we collect there we obviously found a new ghost so let's go to the audio tab location jefferson street we have the ghost on fire wait Wait, we'll go through this. Ghost on fire. Is there no... What the... I have 14... What the fuck? I have 14 audio logs for this ghost. Excuse me. I don't know what that says. Terrifying. This doesn't mean anything. That's a laughing we heard. <laughs> that's that's the growling when he shows up. What the hell was that? A freaking earthquake? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the fuck was that? Is there anything you would like to tell me? Okay, thank you for your service. <laughs> I don't want to hear that anymore. So fucking loud. But also laughing? He doesn't, he doesn't speak English. Yabadoosh, Yabadoosh, I am the Baba Yaga. Wait, so, wait, this was all the same ghost? I think we didn't see the other ghost yet. So we're gonna have to go back in and uh, try again. I don't, that was all evidence for the demon. Maybe the demon, because I know there's a new ghost. We just didn't hear about it yet. Uh, anyway, let's grab the notes and get back in. That's weird. How do we not collect the, any evidence? Because it was on the main floor, right? Did I do something wrong? Maybe he was picking it up from the basement? I don't know. There's one. And then there's the other one. Where's the other one? Am I on the right? There. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There's got to be something. Maybe it's also in the girls' room. And there, thank you for the eight months. Should only have notes. No, no, no. You can have. Uh, why? You should always have multiple ghost notes. Also, look at that. Wait! This engulfing ethereal mist is none other than the Wintakoa. Look at that. So, every time you take the photo of a ghost in a house, you can. Uh, you get like this trophy. Um, mysterious figure seen adjacent to a lit candle. You get this trophy that's that shows up in your office, which is really cool. Um,. Now, let's see. How many notes did we... How many audio logs did we get? We have 12 out of 8, so we got two additional audio logs we've never heard before. Uh, I don't I don't think these, these were supposed to be attributed to this ghost. I would say that was to the other ghost. But anyway, two golden trophies on this one. Let's get another one. <laughs> you guys want to listen again? ...about Dolores' situation. Possession is such a controversial topic and quality help is often difficult to find. I guess the best thing I can do to help is determine if anything paranormal is going on in their home. If it is, then I should obtain as much evidence as possible. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Oh, the chair kept you company. Let's go. Alrighty, I want to see this other ghost. I don't know if it can show itself. It's a very mysterious one. That's for sure. Hello there. How's everyone today? How are all the ghosts in the walls? You guys feeling good? Immediate freaking demonic whispering. I don't think I got that. No, I didn't get it in time. I think we're capturing that from the basement. I think that's 
coming from the basement. Because that sounded extremely muffled. It sounded super quiet. You can also hear that their hum, their hum again. That's like thrown in through the building. Can you give us some cold spots? Let's start with the simple evidence first instead of immediately getting a ghost photo. I mean, we could get a ghost photo if you want to give it to me. But I doubt you will. Any cold spots? Because they were talking about cold spots in the in the whole house. We do have this. We just have the exact same notes because we didn't get any new notes. Oh, don't get stuck in the wall. Anything in the closet? Hello there, ghosts. How are you, how are you guys today? Should probably. Oh, here we go. Where'd you go? Go. What? What the heck? Here you go. Nice. Insanely cold. Hmm, these temperatures. Please get both. Unusual. Goes. Nice. Going on here. These temperature readings are Don't forget your jacket? Did I get that? Please tell me I got that. That's That must be the new ghost. Don't forget your jacket. It's a it's because the other ghost only talks in demonic fucking weirdo language. This has to be the other one. Don't forget your jacket. <laughs> Let's go. It's the mom ghost. What? Can you do that again? Come again? That's cool. Oh, here we go. Or is this the television? Just, oh, no, it's not. Where did they go? Where'd you go? Come back. Come back, ghost. Forget your jacket. Oh, so not so. There's a whole there's a whole different ghost. Like some of them are evil. Like the demon is definitely just EMF an evil entity. We got all the all the EMF terrible. already. So there's there's evil ghosts that just want to do harm, but th then there's also really sad ghosts that are like, uh, that were murdered in their life or that lo that got lost and like didn't didn't make it to heaven or wherever ghosts. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? This is gonna deliver the shit out of me. <laughs> Where did he come from? What the hell? Did he come from the basement? Oh my god. So yeah, that guy is definitely evil. What the fuck? That was incredible. That got me so good. Holy shit. <laughs> I think he I think he came from the basement. That is a proof that the ghosts are active when you're not near them. Right there. They will still find you. That's so cool. <laughs> I was not ready for that. How are you doing down here, huh? What the fuck? That will kill you. Next next time or next update, that will actually kill you. Because the ghosts will do damage to you. Can you whisper to us? I want to talk to the other ghost. The demon can suck an egg. I don't want to talk to the demon. Hey, hey Draco, what's up? That was actually... So, that was so weird. Out of nowhere. That's never happened to me. That's like the first true jump scare I've had in this game. Here we go. Oh, there he is! Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> I took the photo. Or That's going what to I heard. This. That's what I heard. He's coming out of the basement. This guy is crazy. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? Excuse me? What? What are you doing? He keeps coming from the basement. We need to get audio. Hello? Are you here? You good? What are you doing, man? I'm not even talking to you. I'm not interested in you at all. You make this all about yourself again, you narcissistic demon. Any notes down here? I've been told I'm supposed to find notes. I mean, I'm having a time of my life getting scared in, in this game, but still, I would love to find the notes as well. I'm not entirely sure if I'm doing this wrong. Because <clears throat> the dev told me that they're both in the basement. What's that noise? What was that noise? I need to collect more audio on the other ghost because we definitely heard one itty bitty audio of the of the new ghost. I kind of want to go back just to prove that it actually exists. Was audio? I heard that. 
Wow, that's great audio evidence. I can't believe we're getting so much. This is a gold trophy farm. <laughs> like, easy peasy. We're getting all the evidence so fast. This is crazy. We've only been playing for 30 minutes and we're getting everything. Hello? Let's stand here for a little bit. Why don't you go into that room? Which room? This room? The bathroom? Or this room? The kid's room? Oh, what's this? The closet. I mean, the kids were possessed, right? But it was the, the it was the oldest daughter that was possessed. You can hear it from the basement. Who is that? Yeah. I thought I captured it with a recorder. The demon in the basement is just non-stop going crazy. Whereas this ghost upstairs is like definitely more shy. Hello? Maybe you want to talk to me. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Maybe. It's gonna just Is there start. Here it's gonna like come to attacking me while I'm doing this. I don't know if this is an if this is an intelligent ghost. It feels kind of residual. The like, don't forget your jacket. Doesn't sound like something an intelligent ghost would tell you. Unless I forgot my jacket, in which case I'm probably cold. I should get a jacket. Um, but I doubt that was the ghost talking to me. I think that was just a ghost replaying one of their memories. I want to figure out what that ghost is all about. Hello? <clears throat> what the fuck was that? Excuse me? <laughs> what the hell? Evil noise? Demon says hi? Is that gre demon greeting? Hello, demon. All right, I'm gonna leave just to get that. I want to listen to the audio that I captured on that one ghost. It better have saved it. Uh, I, I've already been jump scared enough. I don't want a golden trophy. I'm, I'm farming them. Because when they add more items, I'm gonna be able to buy them all immediately. <laughs> Let's go. And and we might have to check the wiki. Maybe they added new stuff to the wiki that I didn't even check out yet. Because I don't think there was anything on the on the small houses in the wiki before. Wait, don't tell me this is not a gold trophy because I didn't fill this out. Oh my god! I got like four different audios! Are you kidding me? What do you mean? I have got scammed! Uh, you had to have an EVP too? You got- Dude, Conrad, get- Get a grip, man. <laughs> I got a, like, ghost come and, like, grab me! <laughs> what do you mean? Alright, uh, anyway, check out the wiki. Is there- No, so it's on the church. On the church, they have a new one, though. I think there's new lore here as well. Wait, this is new. A crypt for the community. That picture is new. Uh, so there might be some new lore here that I'd have to read. Seven pillars, thank you for the ten gift subs. But yeah, there is no... I just wanted to make sure that we weren't missing anything on Jefferson Street. But now, for the moment of truth, do we actually have a new ghost? We do, Kathy, the foe. There you go. Don't forget your jacket. She does exist. Don't forget your jacket. There you go. So we need to find more on Kathy, and we need to try. In the meantime, avoid the crazy demon. It's gonna be a. <laughs> it's gonna be a weird way to play the game. This is interesting. I like this. Okay, so let's try. Let's let's go back uh, and see if we can get more on Kathy. Is our for Kathy? I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, it's a mom ghost. Yeah. Let's grab the notes. Uh, not in here. <clears throat> Don't forget your jacket. Don't forget your jacket, chat. Where's the notes, though? A A-T? No, but it's with a T-H, right? So it's Kathy? I don't know. I don't know, man. Don't forget your jacket, everyone. Got it all again. We got it all. I'm not sure if I'm doing this wrong. Uh, having a hard time finding the notes <clears throat> by Katie, but Katie, Kathy, 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 is that how you say it? No, wouldn't that have the H, H in front of the T though? Why, why is English so dumb? <laughs> Kathy. That's it. All right, let me drink some water for a sec. Oh boy. Every la language has its dum-dum. 
you don't spell the. You say the, right? The. The. Anyway, what? Um, Jefferson. <clears throat> There's still so many. There you go. There she is. <laughs> there she is. The mom ghost. There's still so many uh, ghosts we have to like complete. Look at the. We don't even have a picture of half these ghosts. Oh, wait, we have a picture on this one. It's just a shadow. We don't have a picture on this one. We don't have all the audio. So there's still so much stuff we have to do and come back to. I think there's several ghosts here that we haven't even seen. The poltergeist we haven't done. This ghost we only have one audio. So there is. We are not even close to being done. And I've. How long have I played this game? 37 hours, man. There's so much content here. Let's find this this lady and you stay back don't attack me buddy thank you for the gift sub i feel terrible i'm sorry but i'm skipping it oh baby look at this look at this friendly neighborhood they have no idea there's a crazy demon possessing their neighbor hi there how are you guys doing today i'm back back again with my emf that's a lot of footsteps. Was that all me? Yeah, he feels terrible. That's a television. Go get baited. It's a super TV. There's also... They even have this holy stuff. Like a prayer thing. Um, I would like to get some EMF. Some simple stuff. Let's start off small. So we don't instantly get jump scared. I still can't believe that that is possible. That's so cool. That the ghost can do that charge event from far away. But that kind of makes me think that they must be able to show up. Like, that's the only event. I think that's the only event in the entire game that'll, like, start somewhere and then go to you without you getting close to it. Because every other ghost will only, like... I... What? I'll keep that as audio evidence. Use your words? Use your words? Come on, use your words. I don't... I think that's what she said. How are you not terrified when you hear this stuff? When you're sleeping in your house and just... Ah! What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Stop it! Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> I'm just chilling with Kathy! <laughs> Get away! I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> what the hell? He sucks. He's all, he always makes it about himself. What the fuck? Okay, let's check more of this. Huh? Did I get that? Wow, that's great. What was that? Evidence. Ah. Ah. It like cut, it cut out? It cut out? What the fuck was that? That was weird. We're getting much more evidence on the lady now, though. That's good. Give me more. Give me some EMF. Don't you dare attack me. I hate how silent he is. He's just behind you out of nowhere. Terrifying. Any EMF? Any cold spots, maybe? Cold spots. This is sick. This is such a different feeling. This is a completely different style of investigation than going to the church map and going to the woods to investigate the fucking cult that's there. Which, if you didn't see me investigate the cult, that was terrifying. You can check out the last video. That was really cool. Um, which, apparently, there's still a lot more events there that I missed. And people send me some screenshots of stuff that they found. So I definitely want to go back to the, ch to the church map and check out the forest again. Because there's some, some creepy stuff that we have to still find. <clears throat> Come on. Can you give us some EMF? I don't want to go into the basement. Something with three. Ooh, I don't know what... Audio it... evidence. Kathy, I've been told is how you pronounce his name. Kathy is a lot more active now. That's like three different whispers already. Maybe we should check the basement now. Oh, here we go. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. They're funny. Funny lights. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, funny. Just the outside. I heard that. That's a demon in the basement. Is he coming again? Are you coming to attack me? I heard that, but Conra didn't, apparently. Oh, the funny lights are back. Yes, yes. EMF meter. Let's go! Not this way. 
This is paranormal. <clears throat> this is paranormal, baby. Conrad is convinced that it's not going to be paranormal. That it's just the fan. Here we go. That's paranormal, though. Nothing paranormal about these. Are you fucking things. kidding me, Conrad? You, you dickhead. Hmm, there we go. Unusual. What if the demon just grabbed Something my booty and here. didn't even make these a sound? Readings are definitely what if he just paranormal. grabbed my ass? Now I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to go to the toilet at night. Because I was not looking at the door. I was like, what if the demon comes in now? I'm, I would never know. We would never know the demon was there in the first place. <laughs> it has been grabbing our booty this whole time. Hello? You got so much evidence. Maybe this time is different because we got also evidence on Kathy. Kate. I'm just going to say Katie. Fuck Kathy. Fuck this name. If you have this name, I'm sorry. I don't like this name. Can you just be called Katie instead? Much easier. Uh, Katie is has given us a lot more audio, so I was expecting to see a note now, but I guess not? There's really not that much to explore here, so how are we missing the damn notes? <clears throat> I don't understand. There's like... But Katie, Katie is definitely a... a a residual though. I think all this audio is like just replaying old memories. Ah oh, fuck, I should have captured that. I, I thought the ghost was showing up. I don't think I got that. Alright, let's let's go back to Katie. Okay, thank you for the thousand biddies. What? Did I stop it by walking into it? I did get it though, right? Ooh, that so we'll be able to listen to the full thing. I thought there was a lady on the painting. But it's just a fucking car. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. I'm starting to see things. This demon is making me see stuff. Look at the penguin. I'll grab my booty. Don't you dare grab my booty. We do not have consent. No booty grabbing allowed. I want a photo of you. Photo? Can you zoom in now? How do you do that again? Oh no, it's coming! Oh no. Is he? I don't... Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. What? What the fuck? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Hello? What the fuck is going on, brother? <laughs> Run! No, he's not there. He's not there. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Stop it. Where's Where's Katie? That was the sound. How is that not? I guess that's just whispering. You can't listen back. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Because we didn't actually hear those whispers when we were playing. What? What? Oh no! Oh no! no! <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's I, took a photo I saw the smoke the through the wall. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Did I get that, please? You were the one that started it. Oh no. Did you get it? No, I didn't get it. Fuck. Okay, but we got the ghost photo. Okay. So it seems like basically the like the thing we like to do, and what's kind of the goal of this game is that you start to figure out why people died, why they are still in the house. Oh. Where are you? So this ghost seems to be like... It sounds like you're right over there. What the fuck? This ghost seems to like be a mother. Don't forget your jacket is a very mom thing to say. And then... <clears throat> Did I get that? Wow, that's great. Nice, we got that. Uh, 
And it seems like they had a fight because you were the one that started it. Sounds sounds like something you say in a fight. Or maybe like when you're trying to resolve it. You sent the email then. I mean, there could be... There could be multiple people that live in a house, right? You always have like a log of people that purchased a house. Oh, there's a spider web. I thought there was smoke up there. Anything else here now? I'm just checking for notes because we really want to find those other notes. And this is such a... Such a fun... Fun mission like this. I really like the... the juxtaposition of this one ghost being super chill and and like not even knowing i exist and then the other demon just constantly running got that put shit on there is no notes there's no notes you're lied to me did, it, did the dev respond to my message what notes new notes the pickups at location spawn based on the amount of evidence you have ob obtained about that particular ghost. So there may be some instances where you don't find, where you don't find a pickup. The pickups for Kathy are in the basement. Okay, so we need to. I see. We need to get evidence on Katie. Most of all, so we we want to try and get more more audio evidence on you. But we did get all the. You did get all your EMF and stuff. Because the EMF here is not for, for the demon, right? Kathy, not Kate. Katie. Go. Uh, go fuck yourself. I don't care about your name. This name is dumb. People, your grandma might be called Kathy. Or whatever the fuck you want me to say. But no one that lives in 20... 23 soon is gonna be named this ever again. This is an extinguished name. This is a grandma name. <clears throat> Can you talk to me, please? Search for Ka Catherine. Why is it Catherine? I. <gasps> there she is! Incredible, a photo of an entity. What the? What the? The difference? She might have been there the whole time. She's so hard to see. What the hell? She might have been walking around the whole time. <laughs> That's why we couldn't see her. Okay, so now is there a note, or can you not stack them? Do I need to like do a investigation purely on on Kathy? Or whatever the fuck. I can't stand this name. Is there a note? Any notes? Notes, notes, notes. Come on. Well, only once you leave and come back there will be notes. No, no. Really? Why? Just call her cat. Cat. Call her Bob. Hi, Bob. Ledridge. That is fucked. That is fucked. Stop it. Stop it! Oh! Ooh, that is, that is indeed eerie audio, audio evidence. I want to see how good we are on on, on Katie. Because I think we're actually pretty close to having, like... I mean, we have the photo. I don't think there's anything here, though. I don't... The fuck? Why are you laughing at me? What's so funny, huh? What's so funny? So I think what we should do is we should do an investigation where we just focus on Katie instead of getting evidence from the demon as well. Because I think that's kind of messing up getting the notes. So let's get the hell out of here. Replay some of the audio logs because I definitely didn't hear them all. Some of them also got glitched, kind of. And we need to we need to see it again. We should have a perfect game here, right? Because I got two ghost photos on both the ghosts. I got like, I, oh no, I didn't get an EVP. Oh no, but it, it, it's fine. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Good stuff. We got another golden trophy. Two golden trophies with one silver trophy. I'm all right with that. Okay. So we are going to just fill in the note. Well, let's first re-listen to the audio logs that we got. Um, and then we're going to only focus on Katie. Katie, here we go. Turn up the volume.
Lizard? Loser? I don't know what this says. Quit playing the loser. It's a little like overlap. So there's like two. You're a lizard, Harry. <laughs> I think there's two things. I definitely hear loser. Wait. I'm blah started it. I don't care who started it. I don't care who started it. That is such a mom. <laughs> that is such a mom thing to say. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is it. That's it. <laughs> this is such a mom. She's just expressing herself? She's just expressing herself. Is this a mom who got killed by her crazy daughter? Don't forget your jacket. Don't forget your jacket. How did she die and why is she haunting the place? Rhonda? <laughs> what is the name? Rhonda? <laughs> is it Rhonda? Rhonda what kind of name? What kind of freaking 1950s names are these? Kathy and Rhonda? Rhonda I'm, counting to three. I'm counting to three. Okay, maybe it's Miranda or something. I don't know. Uh-uh-uh, use your words, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. So that was so much audio evidence. Okay, so now we want to get the notes. So let's um, go. We're just going to focus purely on this ghost. We're only going to take the notes that relate to that ghost and leave all the demon notes behind and then do another mission. That's so cool. That was really cool. Okay, and we need voices. No terrible disembodied voices. Woman's voice. Those are the only two things we have, right? Disembodied voices were heard and voices in most rooms. One second. Nice chair. Thank you. I'll I'll give your compliments to the chef or chair. I mean junk mail. I got no junk mail. Okay, so this should be everything. So let's go. Cause we didn't get anything, right? <clears throat> Here, see. So yeah, look at that. Wait, that's so cool. Wait. So you can see the foe used to own this house in nineteen uh nineteen eighty six. They they bought it and then they sold it in nineteen ninety three. Look at that. So they purchased it for 80,000 and they sold it for 72,000. They lost money on this. The house price did go up over time. They were the only one that lost money on the house. What the fuck? They look at these. Theobald purchased it for 46,000. They they doubled their money. Also, I mean the price is still super low anyway. But yeah, so you see the foe used to live in this house. So there's there they were just like a parent in this house. That's interesting. All right, let's go. That's so cool. That is fun. Yeah, in what world? 2018? Or no money whatsoever? That's crazy. Hey, the, the factory. Oh. Oh, I got an achievement! I got an achievement called Mother Homemaker. Mother Homemaker? Wait, <laughs> what a fucking picture! That is not a very flattering image. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, look at we need to get her again. So that is, we actually completed the audio evidence, but we don't have any of the notes. I want to get the notes. I want to learn more about this ghost because we know barely anything about her. I want to know why she died and why she is here. Like, wh why did she, why did she stay? Because this sounds, this seems like it's going to be really, really sad though. It seems like, like a very sad story to this ghost.
But I still want to find it. I want to learn the story. Oh, here we go. Immediate. <clears throat> Look for notes now. We can't do it right off the bat. They spawn in. According to the dev, the notes spawn in if you get fun. evidence. I should continue investigating. Oh. oh, come on, come on, come on. Obviously, this can only be K Katie because we don't have any more evidence for any of the other ghosts. Like, the other notes are gone. BMF me. Nice. I should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Instant. Instant to EMF. Old spots. Beautiful. Hmm. These temp readings are unusual. This is crazy. Something. <laughs> we are here for like two minutes. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. And I got audio. Ooh, that is eerie audio. Give me more. Things. Give me more. Come on. You're doing a great job. Let's check the basement now. Because we really only, yeah, we only have the disembodied voices. We only have those voice notes. Nothing else. So, I mean, the demon could techni technically still be there, but he wouldn't be as active as before because we don't have any notes to buff up the activity. Because if you don't know about the notes, the notes are like the way you can choose what ghost you want to investigate. There we go. There we go. Two notes. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. This item is a valuable piece of evidence. Here we go. Christine... Halloween crazy libs. Christine thought she could feel a presence in the basement as she folded her afternoon laundry. Now, what kind of what would you feel fill in there? What would what would a normal person fill in there? Excuse me. She could have sworn she saw a shadow moving back and forth in the corner of the utility room. <laughs> what the hell? Feeling a little. Something. She something walked over to the storage room. The room always had a weird burn smell and was always warm. She looked around in the darkness and could not see a thing. The mirror in the corner did scare her a bit. You know what this is? This is the demon killing the previous family. And now the demon is back to kill the next family. Wade! That's so cool! <laughs> Wait, that's like terrible, but it's so cool. <laughs> Wait, that's what's happening. <laughs> Leaving the room, she faintly heard a growl. Just her imagination, she thought. Christine finished blank her laundry and went upstairs to make dinner. So it is it is Halloween Mad Lib. So that's why it's that's why it's weird. But obviously, this is her story. Oh man, that's sick. And then this note: depression or possession. By Sally O'Connor. Rhonda! It was Rhonda! <laughs> See? Fucking Rhonda. What are these names? Rhonda the Foe, a 28-year-old woman, was charged with shooting and killing her family during a brisk spring evening in 1992. Police responded to... Oh, and that's why the house sold for less money! Because a whole family just got killed in there. <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna sell for less money. Dude, the detail in this game is insane! That's so cool. <laughs> the detail, man. Okay. Uh, police responded to a call from a residence in Old Town, a few miles west of the historical district, around 11.30 p.m. When they arrived, Rhonda was found on the sidewalk. This is genuinely the coolest. I mean, the there's some really cool stories in the church as well, but this is such a cool, like multi-layered story that is really awesome we that you don't see this in like any game uh, any ghost hunting game at all uh when they arrived Rhonda was found on the sidewalk in front of her home with a lever action rifle by her side and blood on her pajamas on approach she appeared to be unconscious and emergency services were called Rhonda regained consciousness while receiving first aid she began lashing out in a roar of curses and screams. She had to be sedated on site to ensure everyone's safety. When officers arrived at the front door, one officer was reported that he could feel the house rumble, but quickly chalked it up to a nearby train line. Uh, oddly enough, the train had been down for maintenance that night. Also, the doors into, into the home would not budge, even though they were assumed to be unlocked. The officers eventually broke the front door down and searched the interior of the home. They were not prepared for what they found inside. All of Rhonda's family was murdered with the lever action rifle, which was by Rhonda's side when the officers arrived. The victims were all find, found lying motionless face down in their beds, barely disheveled. Jesus Christ, what kind of newspaper describes it like this? That's so dark. 
The Defoe family was considered courteous and caring for the most part. Mr. Defoe was a baker for New Eidolon and a very trusted, trustworthy handyman, and Mrs. Defoe was a homemaker. Tanner, the youngest child, was in high school. Their daughter, Rhonda, had an introverted personality but still had a circle of friends. Alleged, allegedly, after settling into their new home, Rhonda became ill. Not a true sickness, per se, but a mental break. As her father once put it to one of the na- as her father once put it to one of the neighbors, a couple of neighbors gossiped about Rhonda Rom- Rom- dabbling in witchcraft and satanic rituals with her friends, which was the catalyst of her illness. Kathy, uh, Rhonda's mother, begged her, begged something to beg begged to differ, and denied any mental break and rationalized the illness as her daughter trying to figure things out. Nobody could ever define what happened to Rhonda and why her state of mind changed for the worst. There was no no motive for this crime. She never came out of her shell except around her friends and did not show any sign of aggressive behavior or malcontent to anyone or anything. Just a nice plain girl for weeks, uh, or just a nice plain girl. For weeks, there was much speculation surrounding the murders and a solid answer never surfaced. Rhonda was charged on three counts of second degree murder, but she never reached trial. She was found strangled in her cell in a parent who was... I can't say the word. Uh, on last... Blah, blah, blah. Damn, dude. This is fucking dark. But Kathy was such a nice mom, too. Don't forget your jacket. I don't think it was... I think it was the freaking demon. Man, that is sick. What a story. What a freaking ride. And we completed the map. We completed the map. What a very well done contained story the past people and you and now we have to go to so the future of this game is going to be like what do you do now we figured out we have survived because you imagine the demon imagine investigating the demon while the demon can actually do damage to you right that'd be absolutely terrifying because you couldn't just uh like j jump scare yourself and then be like haha i'm just going to continue the investigation no you would actually get like uh, you would get become unconscious and then you would have to redo the mission So that would be so much harder and then you figure this whole storyline out and then you have to go and exercise the ghost So you have to figure out what is this demon? How can we get rid of it? Uh, so you have to do even more research, which is just super cool such an incredible game But yeah, let's uh, I, we don't have a full contract on this one, but that's all right uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna say that we definitely completed this investigation. We got the full audio on Kathy. We got the full, we got the picture, obviously, and we found both the notes. So now, if we wanted to, we if we didn't already have everything on Kathy, we could uh, fill in the the notes. Uh, so all the four notes we know about her, and then we would get a lot more activity from that ghost. And we could, like, get more audio logs. But obviously, we already got all the audio logs. So, yeah. That was awesome. I think we're gonna split it here. So, here I'm gonna stop it for the new update. Uh, for this update. But we still have stuff to do from the previous update. But we're gonna do that in the next episode on Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. We're gonna be checking out the church map once again. Seeing if we can finally find the Lady in White. Because if you didn't watch last part, we spend so, so long. Which I cut most of it out. I think the video was, like, originally four hours. I cut it down to a little over one hour so i cut out like three hours of of just like waiting for this one ghost to do something so you can't watch the video you won't have be waiting all the time um but we spent we tried to get evidence on the lady in white and we just couldn't find her at all so they changed that now and i'm super excited to see what they got in store for us there but anyway i hope you enjoyed this story let me know what you thought about that that was a wild ride if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's oh wait that's the intro that's not the outro <laughs> that was um, i was already thinking about the next intro because we're after this if you don't know this when you're watching on youtube but on stream we record like several videos in a row so after this i'm immediately gonna go say hi youtube but this is a bye youtube so bye on this one and i'll see you in the next one which you can find the whole playlist of conrad Stevens' paranormal pi in the top right if you want to watch more of this game it is super fun i absolutely love it but anyway i'll see you around bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs> let's go all righty so we're gonna go again i don't know if we'll have much time for ghost watchers but let's do i want to play this game that freaking gave me so much energy that was an insane storyline what the hell all right here we go it's high youtube time
Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. Uh, if you saw the last episode, you know that we uh, played on the new update and we found an absolutely incredible ghost with some of the most intense lore that we have ever found in this game. So I highly recommend checking out that part if you haven't already. However, in this video, we're also going to be checking out a brand new ghost that we have never seen before, even though we tried our absolute best. So uh, we're going to be investigating the the lady in white today which actually received a change in a recent update that made it a lot more active so uh instead of us waiting around for i think we waited for two hours to try and get any evidence of on this ghost and we didn't find a single thing so uh, that was pretty discouraging so the dev uh, changed some things and made this ghost show up a whole lot more give it a lot more uh, audio as well so we're going to be finding a ton more this time and i'm super excited to see it there's actually two ghosts to find there's both the lady in white and the son of the lady in white which doesn't sound like it's gonna be a very happy story so i don't know <laughs> but anyway we're gonna hop in and have a great time i hope you join us for that if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go so uh we have the we're gonna go back to the church map on this one because the the church map has the lady in white ghost now in order to facilitate our investigation to the lady in white we are gonna be doing uh the trick we used last time where we're gonna investigate two ghosts at once so we're gonna both investigate pierre which is the ghost in the mausoleum and then we're gonna after that when we get a little bit of evidence to increase the activity overall we're gonna go to the crypt and then see if we can find something on on uh on the lady in white there so let's fill in some of the notes that we got and then head in let's go all righty spruce street so we just we just won notes on the lady in white which is this one seven look at this 75 year old woman still looking for her son new eidolon not much is known about the life of a local deceived deceased woman ellis williams except her tragic end ellis was married to a verbally abusive man who often tormented her according to her friends the abuse transformed her into a fra frail shell of a person Seeking the love she so desperately yearned, Alice eventually met another gentleman while she was still married. According to Alice's found diaries, this man wooed her with his appreciation of her wit, humor, and intelligence. Secretly finding true love, Alice became pregnant by him. In her diary, Alice devised a plan to ensure her husband would never find out and believe that this child to be his own. One day... One day, seven years later, neighbors reported hearing violent arguments from the Williams' home. Tired of her husband's constant verbal, verbal barrage, she let her secret slip out of blind spite. In a fit of rage, he murdered both Alice and her defenseless son. Alice's husband then dragged her body to the cave within a vacant crypt on the local church grounds and disposed of the body in the Mill River. After proudly confessing to his crime, he was convicted and executed via electric chair within the state penitentiary. According to locals, Alice's spirit still walks the hallowed grounds of the church on Spruce Street in search of her child. One such local provided us with the image on the left, allegedly of Alice's desperate apparition. Damn, that is dark. All right, so that is the ghost we're going to be investigating, and we're going to learn what exactly happened during this time. That is terrifying. All right, Alice is the woman in white. We need more notes. What is this? Pierre died abruptly. Oh, he died in the carriage accident. Yeah, look at that. They got a picture of the carriage accident. Man. Um, what else do we got? We have aid for what? I don't know what that means. Victed, sold tours. I don't know what this is. Bought some ticket. We got the they got the service or the park service investigation of the cult, but we're not interested in that. Uh, let's go to <clears throat> the inbox. And take the notes from the Angel of the Mausoleum, which is Pierre. Pierre, so we have one, two, three notes on Pierre. And then we have the Lady in White. Now, I also know this. Wait a minute. I also know this. They got new notes in the in the wiki. Yeah, look at this. So this is going to be Legends of a Shadow in the Woods. And then there is... What is this? A Crypt for the Community? Technically... Oh, wait. This is a completely new. Wait a minute. A Crypt for the Community. In the early 1900s, after the construction of the mausoleum, the community made it abundantly clear they did not appreciate the social divide manifested by burial pra practices implemented. I it for 
Only the elite were allowed entombed within the mausoleum. It was later determined that even Mr. Lafabre, the arch architect of the mausoleum, was disgusted with how his creation evolved. As a result, by 1910, the cemetery director purchased land south of the mausoleum, expanding the cemetery. This, provi this provided comparable bur burials to what was available within the mausoleum. It took approximately 60 years before the area known today as the crypts became fully occupied. Technically, this area is not a crypt, but over time the name was adopted to help specify this area of the cemetery. In addition to needing clarity on which mausoleum a person would be discussing, it is likely that there was a lack of familiarity with the words mausoleum and crypts. The earliest reports of paranormal activity started prior to this area being developed. Legends of a shadow in the forest, also known as red eyes, have been around for countless decades. Some of the earliest reports were documented by the original colonists. The first settlers had a strong fear of the natives who lived in the area and their folklore developed around this fear. After the script's construction, uh, witnesses observed wandering on the road... Wait. Witnesses observe wandering on the road between the crypts and the woods. Okay, so they they saw they saw this wandering on the road. Wait, they, that's completely different from any of the ghosts we have found before. I've never seen a ghost on the on the road. Uh, one might assume this is not a mere coincidence, so we need to actually look on the road. Interesting. Other reports of paranormal activity have accompanied this area over the years. The body of a murdered woman was found here in the late 1940s. It is alleged that her spirit can be seen wandering the grounds. Many folk over the years have reported other transparent beings. For example, many investigators have allegedly seen a small child playing around the southernmost section. Due to circumstances associated with the woman who was found murdered, paranormal investigators believe that there may be a connection between the two entities. Okay, look at that. Let's fill all this notes in and see if we can find this, uh, this lady. Wandering spirit in the crypts. Okay, so we need we need to clear some. I wish you could click on these and clear them manually. Uh, that would be that would be really convenient. So I need to take something out. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna take out the something like his work stuff. I think I need another space for filling in another note. Um, that is so cool. The lady in white ghost creeps you out. What else do we got? So we have. That's the wandering spirits. Red eyes seen east of the crypt. I've never seen the freaking red eyes, but I'm not focusing on the red eyes this time. Spirit of a small child. And then we have this. I need to get rid of something again. Okay, so we're not going to have much on Pierre then. I guess we're just going to be investigating both of them. Like, we're just going to investigate only the lady in white, I guess. Wait, I'm confused now. Wandering spirits in the crypts. Wait, so I have to do this different then. Yeah, because we don't have any any notes. We don't have enough notes. The woman in white is also okay. So we need to literally need to uh, clear everything. Oh, this is the wrong wrong house. House. So this is gonna go. <clears throat> I, I'm just gonna take everything out and then fill with as much as we can. Do not notice the ghost on my screen? I have not noticed it, no. Uh, Angel in the Mausoleum. There we go, take that out. So we have four notes right now. There's one wandering spirit. We have Ellis. We have other transparent beings. We have spirit of a small child. Um, woman in white. Did we already take this? Woman in white, seeing the crypts. Let's go. Uh, man, we got so much fucking... So much stuff on this. Should we do the red eyes? Should we just focus on the crypts entirely? I think we should just go to the crypts. We should just focus on red eyes. Let's do that. Right. Yes, let's do that. So we're not gonna even go to Pierre. Then I quick then we quickly have to redo the intro, because in the intro I said I was gonna go to Pierre. Or I was gonna investigate Pierre. So let's Are you get ready for another high YouTube? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, YouTube.
YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. I am absolutely in love with this game, especially after the last episode where we found probably the coolest story in a ghost hunting game I have ever seen. I highly recommend watching that if you haven't already checked it out. However, in this video, we are also going to be checking out a completely new ghost with a very disturbing story as well. So if you've watched two episodes ago, you know that we went to the crypts to investigate the new ghost, the lady in white that they added to the crypts however we spent like two hours looking around and we didn't find anything at all so then the developer went into the code beepity boopity boop and made the ghost a whole lot more active than it used to be so now supposedly we should be able to find a ton of evidence all around the crypt but i am super excited to check out and that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video we're going to be playing some conrad stevens paranormal pi i absolutely love this game and i hope you join us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty. Uh, so let's go. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, baby. Uh, so we have we have notes, right? We have all the notes. Let me just quickly check. Yes, we have six notes. Oh, man. Go to the cemetery. So I'm, uh, as always, if you've watched this before, you know that when I'm about to start this mission, it's going to start lagging. Also, look at the sheer amount of ghosts. This was the one we found in the last episode, by the way. That was absolutely terrifying. We found a, a cult in the forest that summoned this demon. Then you have Mr. Siegerstein. You got Mr. Lafabre. You got the lady in white, maybe? I think that might be the lady in white. And then you got this. I don't know why he's so shaken. But uh, that's the reverend, I think. But anyway, as soon as I click yes here, the game is starting to is going to run at like one fps so get ready for that george washington i'm lagging what an incredible opportunity to investigate this location at night there's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal i'm very oh. grateful pastor rogers reached out Although I'm not sure what I'll think if I find some evidence. There we go. Perfect. Pastor Rogers was concerned enough about what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. I was streaming at 1 FPS there. But anyway, here we are on the beautiful church map. Uh, which it's a absolutely massive map which shows you what this game is going to look like in the future It's going to be an open world ghost hunting game where you can drive around to go to different locations And then visit the haunted locations and investigate ghosts there though. So obviously there's the church. We got the first cemetery right here This place is literally filled with cemeteries I guess that's what happened when you have an old town eventually people move out of the town and all that's left is just cemeteries from the people that died there in the past it's kind of dark if you think about it we got the lovely siegerstein family home we got the crypt where we can investigate pierre or mr lafabre uh, but we're not doing that today because today we are focused entirely on the crypt there is uh we're three ghosts we're investigating three ghosts right now we are looking for the woman in white uh the child of the woman in white and then there's also a um a ghost walking on the road over here or something or over here i think which sounds terrifying i don't know if we're gonna see that ghost which i think that ghost has actually been been in the game for like several months now i've just never been able to see it so that is <laughs> some of the ghosts in this game are extremely hard to find but yeah here we are we found the crypts uh the creepy place for sure now, if you don't know the lore about the lady in white, we found a note on her last time we played, and it is a really sad story. So the ghost uh, of the lady in white is called Alice Williams, who uh, was, I think this happened in like the 1940s, so a really long time ago, uh, when obviously women rights were not as uh, spoken about as, as in current year. Uh, so she was married to a verbally abusive man, and she didn't divorce because she couldn't, uh, but she got in love with someone else who actually cared about her, and then <clears throat> she got pregnant from the other man, so not from her husband, the, the abusive husband, and she kept this a secret, obviously, to her uh, abusive husband, but then seven years after the child was born, uh, they had an argument, and in a fit of rage, uh, Alice told, out of spite, the husband that their child wasn't his to, like, hurt him, but then the husband murdered 
the whole family. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing because it's so fucked up. Uh, so, and then he disposed of the bodies in the area before the crypts were built. So in this area, he d disposed of the bodies and then he just confessed to the crime and uh, handed himself over to the police and he was electrocuted on the electric chair. So yeah, uh, lovely stuff in the 1940s. Uh, and now, uh, supposedly, the woman is still walking around looking for her son, and the son is also still looking for the mother. So, there's two ghosts here that are looking for each other, and we are looking for both of the ghosts. So, uh, it should be an interesting, uh, interesting adventure. Let's see if we can find anything. <clears throat> this is, it ripped the dark times, man. Alrighty. So, I don't know how to investigate this. It's Let me drink some water as well. So, they're in the whole place. Oh boy, they're in the whole, um, the whole crypt, sorry, I had a little burp. Um, can we find cold spots? So it is probably a residual ghost if they're, like, looking for each other and, like, replaying memories over and over again. I'm thinking they're probably gonna be residual. So we're not gonna get, like, audio logs from this ghost, or, like, EVPs from this ghost. Uh, but, um, we will be able to get audio that the ghost just like randomly talks like out of nowhere we will be able to collect that stuff let's see i'm just gonna do a little sweep because i have no idea again how to investigate this ghost since we never got any evidence before i don't know if this is a we have so many notes on these ghosts now that i feel like they i don't know because uh, maybe we should still do it with the pierre strat where we for, should first investigate pierre and then get evidence after that but I don't know. I didn't have enough space to fill in notes. Like, I only had notes on these two ghosts. Oh, hello. Oh, it's gonna be a bit, huh? Can you talk to me? Are we gonna see her? Because we know from the other ghosts that the residuals can be extremely hard to see. Also, Galactic Biscuit, thank you for the five gift subs. And Bodies, thank you for the five gift subs as well. I saw that earlier, but I didn't get to say anything. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Alrighty, ghost. You give us a sign. <clears throat> Is there anyone here? Got the video cam? We're not gonna see her right away. Oh, this is creepy, man. It's a creepy place. In here, crickets over here. SFK, thank you for that 10 months. Now, what is the east of the cemetery? I'm guessing east is gonna be to the right here. Like over here. Between the mausoleum and the crypts. Or over this road. Dude, there's even graves over here. There's graves everywhere. <laughs> There's just like, imagine being buried here. Imagine being buried on the side of a road like this. Just tossed away. Kind of dark. That is not a very prestigious burial. Hello there. Any ladies? Specifically ladies in white? Open the door. Surprise for you. Just put a grave anywhere. Nice plant. Open the door, lady. All right, I think we should focus on on the cold spots first, because <clears throat> every ghost has cold spots. We just need to we need to find the active area, like where this ghost is active. And if we don't find anything in like 15 minutes, we're just gonna like do the PR strat instead. But I was I was just kind of hoping we could do it like an actual investigation. We have so many notes that this should work. I think it's just I think the main reason this ghost is hard is because it's in such a large area. Makes it a lot harder. Come on. We're not hearing anything yet. Crypt is so big, yeah. We found her note 
here previously. Because we did find a node hunter, which is kind of crazy. I don't know if there's another note on the boy as well. Oh, it, I guess the boy was that note. Just scouring the edge of the of the crypt now. Oh boy, because I'm assuming that the dev, I don't, th I I hope it's not just an increase in activity, but I hope it was also like an increase in maybe I should stay in an area. Because how could the ghost find me, right? Maybe the ghost is, like, chasing behind me. What if we just stay in the middle here? We're in the middle of everything. And we stay right here. So the ghost, if it's, like, programmed to come to the player, it'll be able to find us. Because I assume that's the case. Because how else could you ever find any activity if the ghost doesn't, like, come to the player? Even though it's a residual. It says the southern part of the crypt. I don't know. I don't have a compass. I don't know where sudden part is. How would I be able to tell? Big statue? By the statue? They're looking for each other. I can ask if there's a specific area. Is there a specific area I should explore in the crypts? We're, we're, we're talking to the dev. <laughs> David Lily, thank you for the 27 months. Oh my god. That's so many months. Dork Chop Queen, thank you for the 10 months. I mean, we could just do the, the Pierre strap, but that didn't work last time either. I think there's something that we need to like change our investigation style. Okay, he, the dev is writing. Do a picnic. Talk to me. Anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I don't think it's going to talk. Wait for it. Is there it. anyone here who would like to speak with me? Doing an EVP with a dev. Maybe the child could talk. I don't know. As you approach the... Oh, hey. As you... Oh, we're getting... We're getting lore. We're getting intel. As you approach the cemetery from the start of the map... Alice is more towards the front half. As you approach the cemetery from the start of the map, Alice is more towards the front half. Okay. So, this part then. Like, the front half. That will be here. So, this is... I mean... This place is big, though. We found... Jesus Christ, we found something. Let me make sure. The boy is more the back half. Okay. Okay, the boy will be in the right in the back. Okay, that is extremely difficult that you have to, like, know where they are. Okay, so we're looking in the front here. And then the boy is in the back. Which makes sense. Like, in between here, I'm guessing, then. Talk to me, baby. Or the, maybe this is too much, too much to the front. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how anyone is supposed to find these ghosts. If you compare this to the small house where we would have already had, like, EMF and temperature at this point. Names on the graves? Can we read the names? One of these is going to say Alice. No, right? I mean, maybe. That would actually be a really cool way. You know, that would be an insanely cool way to, like, have the player find the ghost. By having one of the graves have the name of the ghost on it. I mean, these don't have any names on it, but that would be sick. That would be very creative. This sound mic. We have so many notes on this. Oh! Oh! We found something! Ah! Come back! Yes! Yes! Oh, no. There she is. There she goes. Stay here. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Found something. Mm, these temperatures Let's go! Are usual. No, don't go away. Go away. Stay here. This is very cold. Something. Let's go! Alright! Now EMF? Are we found the... Oh! 
Something was there. Wait, where did they go? There was a little EMF. Okay, so we found we're gonna stay in this area. So this is the area of the lady in white. It's at the front. At the front of the of the crypts. Don't go too far in, because we spend quite some time being too far into the into the crypt area and around this one then. Okay. So here we can get EMF now. We already got two pieces of evidence, which every every piece of evidence is a victory because every piece of evidence is going to increase the overall activity and going to increase our chances to get audio, to get uh, maybe even a ghost photo if we can. So yeah. Uh, alcohol. Thank, alcohol. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Alrighty. How are you doing? I would like to talk to you. I just recorded audio. I didn't mean to, but... Right, can you say something? Got any comments? Uh, why here? Why are you here? Why are you here? It's Wasabi. Thank you for the 13 months. Why are you here? You don't want to tell me? You don't want to tell me anything? Yeah, near the vine-covered crypt. Near the... Wait. This one vine-covered? Take this one? No. Which one is vine covered? I don't I I don't think there is one. It was like in the middle here. Give us give us EMF now. Oh, thank you for the hundred pities. Back there. Matthew, thank you for the five grand jobs. Thank you. <clears throat> this is not a vine, this is the little tree. I mean this is just disgusting. That's just mold. Not vines. I can't believe we actually found freezing first. Like a proper investigation. How oh this one! I see. Yeah, there's vines on this one. Oh boy. Now all we need is EMF and then stuff can start. Lucky, thank you for the five gift subs. Oh hello? Hi there! Yeah, she is here. She is just chilling at the front. These Let's go! Cool. I should continue investigating. I'm following. BMW yes! Okay. Okay. There, so we got both the EMF and the temperature, but we haven't seen anything yet, nor have we heard every anything. So it's time to keep our... Uh, it's, re it's like exactly here. Like this, this where the tree is, you want to just stick in this corner. Um... With the, the grave with this plant on it. Also, beautiful moon. I didn't even see that. Iron, Iron Loki, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Can you talk to me, maybe? Who was here? Tell me your name. There's going to be just a ghost in my face out of nowhere. Can you tell me your name? Why did she never leave? Why didn't you leave, Alice? I mean, maybe because you're finding your son. Which it's so... So, uh, supposedly the son is further down the... Uh, the I'm saying... I want to say asylum every time, but it's the crypts. It's not an asylum, obviously. Um, but they're destined to never meet. What a sad time. Yeah, around here. Talk to me. Give me... Give me a sign. Leave? Why would I leave? I don't want to leave. Come on, we just need audio now. I, I guess I could talk more. Living presence? Do you like the current family living oh. here? Do you like the current family living here? I can't wait when they add more items and you can, like, do crazy stuff with the ghost. Make it more angry. Or defend yourself, too, because if they add attacks, they also need to add defense. Because what else can you do? Because you can't really sprint that fast in this game. No one is living here? Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think... I didn't realize that was the question. I hear weird shit, but that's not... Is this normal? Also, the red eyes... Sh the red eyes should be between here, right? Can we see the red eyes? Is he just going to be walking? Between on this road over here? That sounds terrifying. 
That's a weird statue. Hello there, lady. I would like to take a photo. Any lady in white? Or we could go back for the... We could go back here. To check... Wait. The sun here? Or we could take a photo? So Lenny, thank you for the two months. Hello? Someone should be back here. Let me take a photo. Or the, the red eyes, red eyed ghost over here somewhere. What the fuck? I thought that was a ghost, but it's just a weirdly normal statue of a person holding a freaking donut? What are you holding, sir? What the heck? What is that? Is that a cookie? Taking a photo. Putting that in my collection. I don't know what the heck. It's holding half of a burger. Burger. My... My Whopper. <gasps> oh! Incredible. I captured a ghost on film. That was so short. Did you see it? It was like a tiny, tiny... That was not a lady. That was a boy. That was the child. Oh my god. Wait, I got the photo of the child. What? She, the child was moving towards the front of the, of the crypts. Maybe they're gonna meet finally, because that's supposedly why they're still here, because they're trying to find each other. Which, how did they not find each other? I've been able to find them, why can't they find each other? I can lead you there, follow me, ghost. You wanna go to, to your mom? It's over here. Let's see if we can find her, and then we can let them lead them to each other. But I don't think they listen to me, because they're... They're, uh... Residuals, but that's gonna be so interesting when they add the exorcism mechanic to this game and you need to like get So you need to figure out how to get rid of the ghost Every ghost could be like a mission like these this could be make sure some find some kind of way to get these ghosts to meet And then they can move on to the afterlife together, right? Instead of being lost trying to find each other, which that sounds like a really cool way and then the Previous episode, the demon that killed several families, that one could be... Hey, I guess you need to do, like, a real exorcism there. So sometimes it's gonna be do something with the ghost, sometimes it's gonna be uh, do an exorcism, which is, this is gonna be so sick, dude. <laughs> That's so cool. Kids, thank you for the five gift subs as well. Thank you. Alright, can you show yourself, lady? I wanna see you. Maybe we should go back to the boy. The boy is the chosen ghost. We have not heard any audio, though. But this is definitely different, though, already. We we actually are getting activity, so the dev definitely did a great job making it making the ghost more active. Over here. Who's here? Oh, you recording? Of course. I'm filming. I'm filming this ghost investigation. Going on my vlog channel. Be nice if you could set up a camera, like a motion camera. That would be sick. How could you interact with residual ghosts, though? Because residual ghosts, like, they don't know you exist. So how could you lead them to each other? You need to, like, put stuff in the environment. But I don't think they even interact with the environment. So that's going to be a tough one. Yeah, it, it is extremely easy to miss these ghosts. They're they're very sneaky. Hello, lady. Lady in white. This seems like the perfect spot to see her walk by. Because that's also where the ghost was, right? Why are they not doing any audio? If we dig the grave and put the remains together, that's actually an option. I know you're back here, you little shit. I want to see you walk across. So we need to listen for the footsteps, because that ghost, you could actually hear the footsteps before I saw the ghost. That's why I found it. And if I wasn't holding the camera... 
If I wasn't holding the camera, that was going to be extremely hard. I thought I heard footsteps for a second there. Maybe the boy again? Hello? Child? You okay? I mean, you're literally fucking dead. I don't know why I'm asking. You're shot. Thank you for the two months. I mean, you could be okay when you're dead. I'm guessing. Wind chime? Imagine putting a wind chime on your frickin' grave. Just to fuck with other people that come by. Can anyone explain what this game is about? It is a... Thought I heard some audio. It is a ghost hunting game where you investigate different locations and every location has like a story to the house, it has a story to the ghosts, and you need to investigate with... The, 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 the stuff you have is fairly simple. You have an EMF, you have a, a temperature meter, you have a uh, EVP recorder that you can talk with the ghosts uh, by asking several questions, and you have a photo cam, and obviously a flashlight, and that is all you can do to investigate the ghost, but there is so much, like, layering of the ghost story. There's also notes you can find around the map, which is another way you can interact with the ghosts. You can find their notes, uh, which there might actually be a note on this ghost. I'm not entirely sure because we already found one of the notes, but I'm not sure if there's more. And um, you want to basically piece together the stories of each of the ghosts, which especially the the Jefferson Street House ghost, those were incredible. So basically the story was that you find this demon and the demon is possessing the current inhabitants. And then you find a mother. And the mother is the mother of a child who also got possessed a long time ago. And also and was basically the same demon that possessed the, the child. And then ha hunted the... Or made the family, like, get killed. <laughs> it's a pretty sad story, but it was really cool as well. Uh, Erica, thank you for the ten dollar donation. Happy early birthday! Thank you. Am I talking about Silent Hill? No. I'm talking about Conrad. Yesterday we did a Conrad challenge in Phasmo. All right, come on. This is where you were last time. Hello, Marina. Thank you for the eight months. We already see the lady. We've seen the boy, but not the lady. So that's why we're checking out this area now. See if we can find the lady. I just want some audio, honestly. And I really want to go back to the other houses. I didn't realize we were so... Like, we, we did so few investigate. Wait. I swear I saw someone. I swear I saw someone. But I'm wrong? There was no one? Oh... But I recommend Conrad Stevenson's to a Phasmo player. It depends on why you play Phasmo. If you play Phasmo to, like, investigate ghosts and get scared by them, yes. But if you play it to, like, mess around with friends and, like, die or escape the hunts. Like, if, if being able to die is very important to you, then this game doesn't have that. But if you are all, like, if... You, this could be the perfect game for people that are too scared to, like, die in Phasmo. Or that, like, only play on Intermediate because they don't want to die. Um, and then you can play Con Receivers. Because here, you can't even die. At least not yet. <laughs> At least not yet. Um, but soon, I guess. And there's, like... Well, a whole different aspect is that there's so much lore in this game. So there's not much when it comes to, like, the different ghost types... It's not like investigating ghost types and like using hidden behavior and hidden abilities and like figuring out the ghost that way. But it's instead more focused on piecing together stories. And like if you if you like a good story, I think you, I can recommend this game. Because it's all about the lore. It's like, it's like if you like investigation. If you like doing a, a proper like investigation or like a detective game... If you're a big fan of detective games, then definitely this would be right up your alley. 
I don't know where the hell anything is right now. Nothing is happening anymore. The ghosts have fallen asleep. Please. What's wrong? What the fuck? Ah, uh, excuse me? What was that? <laughs> Hello? That gave me freaking goosebumps. <laughs> I was just saying that the ghost didn't do anything anymore. <laughs> and then you scream at me. What the hell? What was that? Oh, was that the death scream? Oh god, that's actually depressing. <laughs> or was that? Because I don't know if the ghost... Maybe you got scared by me. Did I scare you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm a friend. I come in peace. What the hell? That was awesome. Scary scream. I kind of wish it wasn't so slow. I think it isn't a very slow game overall. It's mostly slow if you play on the big map. I think the church map is definitely for the more patient people. But if you go to the small maps, you can get, like, nuts to butts activity. Like, you saw the, the, the time we played against a demon today? It, we, it was crazy. We were constantly being grabbed. Constant audio. Uh growling, all kinds of bullshit. Like, it was going crazy. So it's, 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 it just depends on the location. It's just, this is more like an atmospheric, which is really cool, in my opinion, that you have, like, it's like the asylum of, of Conrad Stevenson's, where you have a slow investigation, and you actually need to try your best to be able to get anything. Instead of, like, the... The instant dopamine rush from playing a game on Tanglewood. Hello? I want that scream again. Talk to me. I have my recorder ready. He's already got the photo anyway. I just need audio. Talk to me. I wish you could make the ghost more active. By incorporating a device to charge their energy. I mean, you can already make the ghost more active by finding evidence. But yeah, it would be cool if there was some kind of way to interact with the ghost beyond like waiting for them. It's like a, it's a reactive game. You have to, the ghost needs to do something, which is really like a pretty commendable to the dev that he decided to do it this way because it puts a lot of pressure on the dev to make sure everything is balanced because the player can't do anything like i mean it can do something but it's up to the to the developer to make sure the ghosts are properly balanced and give enough evidence for the game to have a right flow so and every single ghost is different because it's in a different area etc etc so it makes it really hard to balance all these different ghosts so that's why this ghost in the previous update, it was almost impossible to find because it probably had similar, like, stats to the ghosts in the small houses, where in the small house, you can basically catch every bit of evidence. However, here, you're going to miss a ton of evidence because if the ghost is doing something over there or behind, completely on the opposite side of the crypts, I'm not going to be able to find that because the area is so big that I can't be everywhere all at once. But scream at me. Talk to me. Be right back. I get churro. Can you get? Can you take some for the rest of the class, please? I want churros too. It's your time to treat us. Which ghost am I trying to find? Both the sun and the lady in white. Try leaving and coming back. That would be the stupidest thing to do at all, ever. Because we already have so much evidence, and we're just gonna have to find it again. Like, we, we are, we have aggravated the ghost quite a bit. We just need to collect it now. We need to collect the evidence. Lady in white take two. But now it's actually going better, though. It's still slow, but it's so much less slow. Go back to the lady in white. But I heard something. Walking in the distance? Hello? The sun seems very active, which is weird because we have more notes on the lady than on the sun. But the sun has screamed, the sun has shown itself. 
I wonder if there's a note around the the place for the sun. I'm not sure. You need to scare the kid. Yeah, the first attempt a few weeks back was very, very hard. But now we're doing much better. I just want audio. And then we could do... I mean, the red eyes, right? Can we see the red eyes? Do we have actual evidence now? I don't even know. Has anyone ever seen the red eyes? Any Conrad Stevens' paranormal PI players in chat? Have you ever seen the red eyes? <laughs> I have never seen them. Like, where are, are they here? You have? Where are they? Any Conrads in the chat? Red eyes is really active for you? What? You have? Where the fuck is it? I've seen red eyes, yes, a few times. Is it between the... Is it here? Hearing? I'm hearing wind chimes again. Andrew, Shalandriel, thank you for the five months. The guy in the mausoleum has red eyes. That's not the right guy. It's not the same guy. Not my guy. I think he's here. Walking between the... Closer to the woods? This way? Try going for a nap and then get killed by a ghost. It's like a great idea. Over here? Red eyes is always super active for you. What, what, am, what am I doing wrong? Like, like by this sign? Also, what the heck are these thick borders on this yield sign? <laughs> Excuse me. Towards the woods entrance. Okay, so like right under this lantern. Like right over here. So we should stay in the corner then? So we can collect evidence on both ghosts? Dude, I'm jealous. Come on. Recording. It's day four of me trying to find a lady in white. I have barely eaten any food. Or I am running out of rations. I have not slept in days. Keeping my eyes peeled. For I do not want to miss the time. The lady shows itself. My lady. Please. Tips for Dora. <laughs> Gotta end it that way. <laughs> the angel next to the yield sign is creepy too. I know. The most realistic. This is this right now is the most realistic ghost of the game because nothing is happening. <laughs> it's truly the most realistic ghost of the game ever made, dude. You're just walking around in an empty building and nothing is happening. <laughs> did you imagine that would be such a fucking troll. Like, real, did you gotta make a game that's called, like, real ghost hunting, and it's just, like, you just walk around in creepy building and nothing happens. Or, like, you know what? That's actually a really good idea. Like, kind of, instead of a ghost hunting game, you make, like, a... So, instead of a ghost hunting game, you make, like, a, uh, a game that is similar to the TV shows or, like, the... That, that, that do, like, ghost hunting in these, like, old abandoned places that are, like, super, super exa exaggerated and, like, small stuff happens. Like, something falls down and they go, like, oh, my God, it's a ghost. But instead, it's just, like, something falling over. Like, it, like, the, like, an in-between ghost hunting game where it's not sure if it's real or if it's, like, just the wind or something like that and everything could have, like, a natural explanation that would be really cool. Press E to overreact. <laughs> and you grab your night vision, you play some audio, you get like this weird EVP and stuff. That'd be sick. Urban, yeah, an urban exploration game, basically, yeah. Okay, so nothing, this ghost is fucked. The, the moon? The moon. Stars. MG, thank you for the 15 months. Where's the red eyes? Like, I genuinely wouldn't... Where? 
Somewhere a dev is taking note. Somewhere at all times a dev is taking note. The lady in white is ghosting me. Fucked up. Can you talk to me? Maybe we need to go back to the guy. Maybe the, the boy is just the better ghost. And we should check if there's any more notes. Let me quickly ask. Oh, okay. Let's go. Uh, go to the family sitting area. You've gone too far. Okay. Are... Are there more notes? Question mark. I found one. Because we found one note before. We found one note for Alice, but I don't know if there was one for the boy as well. Boy. 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 Wait, that actually sounded so like Kratos, what the fuck? That's, that's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> Don't do that, boy. <laughs> that's why the kid screamed. Kid is scared. You son of a bitch, you better talk, or I'm gonna kill you again. I am secretly the voice of Kratos. Find the ghost, you have to scare them. Did he say anything? No. Okay, okay, nice. There's no note on the no note on the on the boy. I would just I just wanna get audio. I have my thing out. I don't have my thing out, I have my thing out. You know? It's a different don't you dare. I heard that? That wasn't anything? What the hell was that? Someone was talking. You hear that? I swear that was speaking. What? That's weird. That was creepy. Stomach. My stomach was rumbling. Oh. Dude, I just... Like, I need to fucking be able to find the lady in white. I want to see her. What she looks like. And I will not leave until you show yourself, you damn... <laughs> you damn piece of... You, oh, wait. You damn freaking... <laughs> ass... Show yourself. The mother and son are scamming me. Nailed it. Exactly. Come on. I don't even need the photo. I just need the audio. Talk to me. Censoring myself. He said, Freak. What the fuck? I clicked the wrong button again. What the hell? Hello. It's me. It will be able. Megaphone time. Hello. Is anyone here? Can any, is anyone picking up this frequency? There's nothing happening in the in the crypts right now. Over. <laughs> is anyone on this line? Oh, what the fuck? What the hell is happening? My voice was fucked up. I, <laughs> I went through puberty again. What the fuck? <laughs> Over. Excuse me? <laughs> do something. I do. The radio is kind of sick. Hello. Is anyone on this line? <laughs> it was 1994. <laughs> sick. It was a cold winter evening, and I first saw the lady, the lady in white. Yeah. Counter no wait. Counter terrorist win. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's what that sounds like, dude. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that happens in 1994. I wasn't even alive! Again? Like, we'll get him next time. What's the first part of that sentence? Oh, mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> That's it. Mission failed. I forgot the first. I forgot the most important part. Okay, you piece of garbage. It's time for you to show yourself. You're being a dick right now. Am I not in the right area? The investigation seems to be a little, little different. Too much variability. I will continue to balance it. Last time I was testing, she seemed pretty active. Okay. It's 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 just Is there like parameters that are randomized? Because people said they had really active red-eyed ghosts. I've genuinely never seen them. Um I just need to see. I mean we could try we could try and do the Pierre strat where we get evidence on Pierre and then go to the boy and investigate the boy. Because we only have like two notes on the boy anyway. Or we could only take two notes on Pierre and do it with that. Like we don't need all the notes on Pierre because Pierre is really not that big of a deal. He's easy. And then we can have the rest of the lady in white notes. I think that might be the way to go. I think so, maybe. Because I don't know. This goes like right now we are unlucky basically. We just get nothing. I think we're gonna try that. I think we're gonna try and... So, we, we tried our best to get evidence right now. It's a, it's just too quiet, and apparently, according to the dev, basically, it'll randomly assign, like, an activity level to the ghost, so sometimes you're just gonna have a less active ghost than other times. But what I, what I think we should do is we should leave and collect evidence on a different ghost, like Pierre, then come over here with a bunch of buffed activity and try to find the lady. Because we saw the boy, even though it was a really short photo, but it was definitely not the lady in white. That was a very, like, that was a child, for sure. Uh, so let's let's just go to Pierre. Let's say hi to our... Hard to scream. Normal sound? Uh, apparently nothing. Connor's not saying anything. Well, anyway, I'll be back. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, you lady in white. I mean, not that you're gonna go anywhere, but don't go anywhere. How can a photo be short? Oh, the on the photo he was short. And you find? I don't think you can, right? You can't find any evidence on this ghost if you don't. What the fuck? That is creepy. I don't think we're gonna find anything because we don't have any notes on on Pierre. I don't think that works. Day one failed, day two failed. We're going for day five. I wanna see I still wanna see a ghost from like really far away. Well, someone's someone's awake in there. You see that light? That's actually kinda creepy. Right off we go. We're not gonna get a full investigation, I think. Also, right there! Look! Upstairs window light turn on. But not, not the downstairs windows. That's really cool. Hey, five of trying to find scare Conrad. Come on. But at least we got the photo, right? We can... No, because we didn't have audio locks. Fuck. How huge is this map? I know. No audio evidence obtained. God damn it. Say thank you for the nine months. Fuck you. Fuck you, ghost. All right. Trying again. Um, so we're gonna go to... We just want Angel of the Mausoleum, Woman in White, and just as many notes on the Woman in White as possible. Woman in White seen in the crypts. Uh, and then one more note. So we're not gonna take the child note then. <clears throat> we're gonna go to location. Crypt is... This. Other transparent beings in the... That's a small child. So we're not gonna take the child this place connections to spirits in crypts oh no that's yeah but that's both of them wandering spirit in crypts transparent murdered woman i have all notes here 
because I can't select the the murdered woman. So we got woman in white, and then we have the the note from the archive. If we want to, but that's the that's Alice. That's on Alice, right? Yeah. So we should take out the connection, maybe, or wandering spirits, or we could literally just do it with the one note on the angel in the mausoleum, maybe. I feel like we can do it with just one note. Because we've done that before, right? It's not that bad. Because, like, Seeger's, or, uh, the mausoleum ghost is pretty active. And then we have as many notes as possible on the rest of the ghosts. Let's do that. Salad, thank you for the 13 months. Alright, get ready for one FPS me. FPS city. Incoming. This church map bigger than Sunny Meadows, for sure. I mean, maybe not in terms of volume, because it doesn't have two floors. <clears throat> what an incredible opportunity to investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out, although I'm not sure what I'll think if I find some evidence. Regardless, Pastor Rogers was concerned enough about what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support He was gone! Where'd he go? Alright, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Never gets old, I know. <laughs> Am turned off. Oh, I just stood up. Wait, wait, actually, one second. See this bush? It's gonna be a very important bush later. You need to count the leaves right now, take a screenshot. Gonna come back later in the story. Report missing streamer anomaly. You guys should all refresh the stream, by the way, after you lag, because there's many people that are delayed. Or I'm delayed, I can refresh stream too. Refresh the chat. Maybe that's it. Not entirely sure. Okay. Here we go. You better be nice, Pierre. Hello, Pierre. It's me. I'm back. Your favorite ghost hunter. Oh, that was, that's the that's the generator. You're not getting me with that one again, Pierre. Not on my watch. Let me throw on some lights in here. <laughs> you love this guy. He is. That's the generator again. Got them generator everywhere. Usually, Pierre shows you the first evidence right in front of the statue. Holy Pierre. I remember. It, was, it feels like it's yesterday. Because it probably was. The chat is delayed. Oh, I think it's because you guys don't ref. Oh, here we go! Wait, no, that's nothing. Been bamboozled. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing yeah. paranormal. Well, what if it's a paranormal cold spot? Did you ever think of that, Conrad? Piece? A piece of garbage? Come on. And... Pierre, thank you for the four months. And Cap Miley, thank you for the 14 months. Alright, come on, Pierre. I know that's your name. We know everything about you. We still need to, like, do a proper investigation in the woods, too. Like, there's so much stuff we have left to do. We need to go to the houses again. Like, man. I just want to finally find the lady in the woods. Alright, come on. EMF, maybe. Or we could talk to you, right? I think this... No. Yeah? Is there anyone here? I think this is like an intelligent ghost. I think so. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Pretty sure. Oh. Do you live here? Or why are you why here? Why are you here? Yeah, I heard you say he was easy. He's definitely not easy, but we can get it. Why are you here? Oh, come on. Can you tell me your name? Yeah, it doesn't light. Yeah, he does light candles. Can you tell me your name? Yeah, please. Let's go, wow. Pierre! That sounded like a response. Hey, that's my Pierre, baby. 
How many people are here other than me? There's indeed ghost orbs. Let's go, Pierre. How many people are here other than me? Yeah, this is this is neat. I like this UI name. Can you tell me your name? I, mean, I already asked that, and you said. Bah, bah. Can you tell me your name? Okay, boy. This does look like a TV remote. I gotta say, it doesn't really look How like. How many it. people are here, other than me? That's so weird. You're locked in place. Imagine this is gonna have How to change when here? they. When they me. allow the ghost to attack you, like, you're gonna be stuck standing here, asking questions of the ghost. Is there anyone <laughs> here who would like to speak with me? So fucked up. Can I close the menu and walk away? No, I can't close the menu. So they have to, well, they will have to change Is that. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? We. Wow. He didn't say like we, part. he said very we. <laughs> We, as in a we. <laughs> I think that's not we, but a we. <laughs> it was French. I think a we. <laughs> we. No, no, no. Très bien. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm on to you, Pierre. Oh, it's the same fucking cold spot again, you piece. Looks like just a cold yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. paranormal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Dude, what was that? What was that? Oh. oh, oh! Wait, what was that? There we go! Nice. Let's go, Pierre! Let's go, Pierre! Hmm. These temperatures Pierre! are unusual. This is my Pierre. No, don't leave. Peace. More Pierre. More Pierre. More Pierre. Still walking. The fuck? You disappear. Disappear. He's gone. Just trying to hold your hand, Pierre. I don't, because this has been a strat that has been literally recommended to me by the dev, so I don't, this has to be a valid way of investigating. Like, going to one ghost first and then to the other. I mean, we already got audio evidence, not much of the rest. He disappeared. <laughs> you guys. I should say, like, yeah. This is a we. We. Oui. Give me the red and last cool spot. That was a pretty good pun, I gotta say. Disappear. We could just go to the crypts as well, like, and see if we can get anything there. But oh, what again? Every dang time. Why does it keep making me reinvestigate? These temperature this? fluctuations appear to be normal. How do you know? How do you know this? I mean, that was just... We already got multiple EVP. Also, look at the... Reflections on this, actually? Kinda sick. Alright, come on. We don't have all day, Pierre. I got a lady to see. I got an appointment with a lady. Lady. Of the crypts. I mean, I think this is no way. Because if I live, walk around in circles here, I'm going to get the evidence so much faster. A lady in white. Zigzagging. I'm avoiding him somehow. Oh. 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 There we go. Something is yes. on here. These temperatures. Nice. And then we can get the EMF. Yes. 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 I should continue investigating. BMS Let's go! Okay, okay. So, we got two temperature, two EMF, two uh, EVPs. That is 
enough, right? I would love to get a ghost photo, but he's probably not going to show himself. I'm going to give you like one minute. Show yourself. Do it right now. And then I am fully set. We should take the photo of the lady in white instead, right? I think we did it. I was like Stardew Valley fishing, kind of, yeah. All right, let's just go. So we got almost a full investigation, so now we can now we can find some evidence on this lady. They're just they're gonna be crazy active now. Who knows? Maybe. Did I see something in the forest there? Or was it the uh, was a reflection on the tree sign? All right. Oh there. We're back. And I brought a friend this time. His name is Pierre. Help me out. You want to show yourself? Maki, thank you for the gift sub. We can investigate still both the lady in white and the child. Because we have all the notes. We did the whole... Look at the difference. We did almost an entire investigation. Wait. I thought I heard a footstep. We did almost an entire investigation using just one single note on Pierre. Yet we have four different notes on the lady and we cannot find her. God damn it. Alice. You piece of... Can't hear that. Why can't you hear that? If I'm not talking... It doesn't pick it up. I have to talk and interrupt myself. You, you piece of shit. What the hell is going on? Help me. Help. That's so weird. <laughs> My keyboard is possessed. Oh boy. My ears, please. Okay, let's say let's say hi to the boy first, maybe. Maybe the boy is is more willing to speak this time. Hello there. I thought there was candles here, but it's just a light every time. Every time I get baited. Is that Morse code for help me? What is Morse code again? Isn't it? I forget what it is every time. Like three short beeps and then long beeps and then short beeps again. Something like that. Three long, two short, three long or something. I always forget what SOS is. Oh, it's three short, three long, three short. Okay. I have one. I was one off. Come on. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, I think... It's just tough. I think... I think... Because I don't know if the dev's watching, but what I think is really important when you're doing this investigation by yourself, don't use the editing tools, like the, the tool that allows you to see where the ghost is. Because obviously that's going to make it super easy to figure out, to like get evidence to happen because you can see where the ghost is. But as a player, you can't see where the ghost is. So <laughs> obviously it's going to be much, much harder. I think that's the main difference. The main difference is you can find the ghost, whereas we can't, because there's no way to find the ghost. Not sure. We're going to give it five minutes. Five minutes. It's already almost longer than the whole investigation on the previous ghost. That's insane. What? That was a very unusual noise. That was a very unusual noise. Screaming. Oh. I'll keep that as audio evidence. What? What? I heard footsteps. What was that? What the hell? Hello? Terrifying? She's here. And she's crying. Or laughing. Probably crying. But maybe laughing. <laughs> Hopefully laughing, probably crying. Um, hello? You sound like she came from here. What the hell? Alice? Alice? I'm scared. This is intense. More. I need more. I need a photo. 
I wonder if you could have seen her there. Anyone freeze frame on that? See around here? Look at this. I love the night vision in this game. Wish you could zoom in on it. You can't do that, right? That was in another game you could do that? If you can. Unless, how do you activate the controls again here? No. You can just take a photo. I shouldn't go further than this because the dev told me that if you go past the sitting area, you're too far for Alice. But even though it sounded like she came from there, I'm not going to do that. The dev knows best. I miss the red eyes. You saw the red eye? Here we go. That's extraordinary. There she is! It's incredible. I captured a ghost on film. She's definitely crying, though. Let's go, dude! We did it! <laughs> Finally! Oh, she's still walking! Oh, she just stops periodically to cry. So, so yeah, if you're having trouble finding this ghost, definitely super useful to leave the investigation and then come back. Is she gonna go here? Yep. <gasps> she's coming for me! What the heck, man? That's a screenshot right there. <laughs> we finally found her. Screenshots! Crying, though. Because she can't find her son? How long does she keep walking? Oh, did she stop? Or she's there? Oh, she's still going! But yeah, you can just- she just, like, walks forever. But you need to find your son. Wait, can we can we somehow unite? I don't think that's not in the game yet. But imagine in the future when you can unite them somehow. So can I get more audio? That's really cool. We need to find the kid. That's extraordinary. Oh, we got the crying again. Nice. I mean, look at my investigation. I've did an outstanding, outstanding amount of evidence. I think the ghost is gone now. I think so. Yes, okay. Well, we found the lady in white. That's incredible. Actually, so long, too. That is... That, I'm glad it was not just an, a burst of a... Like, we didn't see her for, like, one second after working so hard to find her. But now the question is, will the boy be there, too? Will they... Is that... Because she's, like, walking around, looking around. The boy was only, like, there for a split second. Because I know they're in different areas of the... Of the crypts, because otherwise, obviously, they would find each other. Hello, boy? Are you here? That was really cool. Bring them together. I wish you could do that. Like, lead them somehow. Just need to see the boy. Because I only saw that for a split second. That was not enough. And they are more active now. I mean, maybe the boy... The boy was definitely more active than the lady in white last game. I want some audio logs on her, too. I think this is the area where you should be. That was sick. Talk to me. Talk to me, boy. Boy. Come on. Beat the lady by playing audio from... I could say, boy. Oh yeah, mate! No, no, no. <laughs> I see what you mean. You can play the audio of the child. Wait! Oh! Oh! What the heck? Wow! I I took a photo of a ghost. Hi there! But he was like zombie moding. Wait, did you see that? Where'd he go? He was like running like this, like zombie, and then he disappeared, or then he stopped doing that. Wait, that was sick. We found both of them. So yeah, it's extremely important to if you if you're having trouble finding them, like you could do the investigate one ghost and then pivot strat, and you could also just leave and come back later because it seems like they're more active sometimes, and other times they're less active. It's like it's random. 
That's why sometimes you get the craziest demon and sometimes you can't get any evidence at all. Man, that was crazy. Now, can we get any audio though? Or is that just, I think odd, I think these ghosts might, like they want to show themselves more than they want to talk to me. Even though we could probably get the footsteps of this guy, but I don't think that's going to help much. That was really cool. So there, so if you want to investigate this for yourself to get the trophy of them, you're looking for this area, this area at the back. So right now I'm at the back uh, right corner of the of the crypts. That's where the boy is, and the and the lady in white is at the front, front le uh, front left basically. So they're like complete opposite sides of the crypts, and they don't ever meet because that's the thing. That's why they're still here because they they're looking for each other. Now what would be really cool is if, for example, in the future you can like play. You do an investigation on the boy, you get like a. Uh, mom, where are you? Voice log or something. And then you can play that back to, at the lady in white to lead her to the boy. And then they meet and then the spirit like goes up in like a, a white glow and then they disappear. Like imagine, dude, imagine the goal of Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI is to go to this town and then at the end of the game, nothing is haunted anymore. All of the ghosts are gone, and it's just a completely normal town, and you can still go to places, but there's just nothing there. That'd be so cool if the goal of the game... I mean, obviously, you would need to have, like, settings to be able to, like, reinvestigate them, like, to to get them back. Because otherwise, you could, like, disable the game. You could, like, cre like remove all the ghosts from the game, and then you can't play it anymore. But that actually sounds like a really cool, <laughs> really cool game. Like, a campaign for a single player. Like, the goal is to get rid of all the ghosts in the town. And then you're gonna be, like, the hero of the town. You saved everyone. And every ghost is, like, a different puzzle. You have to figure out, like, why they're there and how they could possibly be. Like, it's not gonna be, like, hand-holdy. You will have to figure out how to, how to like, exercise them in each in their own way. Like, if they're all a puzzle. It's like a puzzle game. A puzzle ghost hunting game. Where you have to like investigate each ghost, get their lore, and then use that information to exercise them. That sounds so cool. <laughs> there is different maps. There is different maps. And oh yeah, like a different area where you can go. I mean, that's kind of the same idea, right? I don't think that I mean the lady was walk. So that's that's that oh never mind. What? Wait, is she on top of me? I think she's on top of me. I think she's walking right here, but she's invisible. Yeah. I think she is. She's invisible. I can I can lead you to to your child, ghost. She's right there. <laughs> this is terrifying. Don't cry. No. And she's very sad. What the fuck? That is so cool. I wonder what kind of audio evidence these 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 ghosts have. So what what I did there, by the way, if you get too close to a to a residual, they will disappear. So I might have gone too close by accident because obviously I didn't know. And then she disappeared. She's still here. You just can't see her. I still if you if you play Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI yourself, I would love to know if you've ever been able to investigate the red eyes. According to people, the red eyes will be in this area. There's a whole ghost that I have never seen at all. So I have genuinely no idea how they look like, how to investigate them. If you wanna like if you have any tips on finding that ghost, you could let me know. I would love to investigate that one but that this is super cool that was the lady in white we it took us uh, blood sweat and tears but we finally found them uh we did actually a full investigation on them and everything so now we can get a golden trophy and we can finally put a pin in the lady in white story until uh maybe because i know they're gonna change some more maybe the lady in white will become even more crazy and then we can collect more audio evidence 
Uh, but let's let's see let's let's complete this quest and and see if we get the golden trophy. I wanna. I wanna get my trophy. That was a tough one, man. It's the other side for the eyes. Is it? It said east, but I don't know where north is, so I can't really tell where east is. You missed red eyes. They were on the side of the road by the sign. I doubt it, but maybe. If you have a screenshot, picks or didn't happen. Picks or didn't happen. I want to do another investigation. Which ghost do we want to investigate, though? Red eyes is the back entrance of the woods. Anyway, let's go. Oh, baby. Chippy gold. <clears throat> and yes, let's go. A full golden trophy investigation on the lady in white. Now let's go to the map and see how close we are to like finalizing these. Cause we should have for the, cause I don't know if the chat was on this board before. Let's look how many freaking ghosts there are. Cause we're still missing the lady in white, right? Look at that. The lady in white. We actually got four out of five audio logs, so we need to listen to that. <laughs> Why the fuck? Look at the boy. <laughs> Why is he fucking shaking like that? <laughs> what the hell? And then Lefebvre, we still need the... F so, yeah. The only ghost... Wait, no, but the shadow. We haven't investigated the shadow after they added this system. Because the shadow isn't on here. So we need to investigate the shadow, and we also need to investigate... So many of these, because all, all of these ghosts in the old maps we haven't really properly investigated yet on the new system where they had, like, the achievements and you could, um, uh, like, you could keep notes on how many of the audio you collected of each ghost. But let's listen to them, because apparently we got some. We got almost, we got four different audio logs. Uh, woman in white, here we go. Yeah, that's the crying. <laughs> Bad times. Okay. That's also crying. That's also not very good. <laughs> Why is she always crying? <laughs> He's always sad. What the heck? Oh! Is it mommy or is it... I don't think I hear the M. Is she saying the name of the child? Honey. I don't know what she... Honey? Tommy? Tommy? Or honey? Honey, maybe? Because I don't think we know the name of the child. Honey. Do we have the, any audio on the boy? <clears throat> no, I don't think we do. I don't think we have... Uh, wait, do we? How much audio is there on the boy? So there's definitely more to find here, but I've already spoken to the dev and he's gonna change them to make the ghost even more active. So yeah. Oh no, there's no audio on the boy. Because it would say zero out of X, but no. So there's no audio. So we did a full-on investigation on the boy and we almost did a perfect investigation on the lady in white. So I'm gonna say we did a great job. I did that so you don't have to. We finally found the lady in white, which is not a very happy story. Uh, given <laughs> I don't know if you remember what I said, uh, how the... The husband killed the, the woman and the child and then freaking dumped their body in the, in the, this one. They dumped the body in the, in the crypts. But yeah, anyway, that is going to be it for the lady in white. I hope you enjoyed that one. Tough investigation, but we found her finally. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers over here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Every single day at 7 p.m. Century P. At that. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to watch more Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI, there's a playlist over in the top right. You can watch all the episodes, which especially the last few episodes have been really closely connected with every episode kind of building on the last one. or And, and also, the, especially the last one where we found a very crazy score, story. So I highly recommend that one. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you're not subscribed. Oh, wait, I already said that, right? I'm, I'm a little sleepy today. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Subscribe. Subscribe. Double subscribe. Sub don't click the subscribe button again if you're already subscribed, though, because that's going to that's gonna lead to bad things. Don't do that. Click it three times if you do that. Anyway, bye. <laughs> Finally, I can record again. All right. Um...
How many times do you have to, if you click it once? No, because if you click it three times, you also unsubscribe. Fuck! They're all gonna unsubscribe! No, what have I done? <laughs> no! <laughs> Should tell them to click it twice. Fuck. Another. Another one? We do another investigation. Which ghost, though? Which ghost, though? Do we go... So how many ghosts are on this one? I completely forgot. How many... Let's let's read the note on Evergreen Lane. Because we haven't gone to any of these. Polk Street has three ghosts. I think Polk Street we have investigated. I think this goes... This, this map has, like, the Skipping Child, which I think is this one. And then that... You don't even have the Demon on that one? Wait, what? You don't even have the Demon. Let's see. You click three times. Good luck, dude. God damn it. Um, see. Uh, Evergreen Lane. We have still four notes to collect, so baby. Oh, yeah, that was the girl, the skipping child that died to fucking leukemia or something. <laughs> that was so sad. Wasn't it? I think so. Wait, where's the leukemia thing? Wait, did we not have that? Or was it in Polk Street? This one? Uh, actionable plans, available means, making threats. What am I looking at? There's so much to police report. What is this? Strong emotions create gateways. I think we should investigate Evergreen Lane and like check out the demon again, get another case on the demon. Although that would be, because we can do that now and then we can reinvestigate them when they add more items and stuff like that. Let's see, inbox, Evergreen Lane, Family, about a year ago, it's been an old farm. Wait, let's read this. Dear Conrad, my family and I moved into our dream home on Evergreen Lane about a year ago. It's an old farmhouse with the, without the rest of the farm property. The home has been renovated many times over the years, so it has a fresh and inviting feel. Unfortunately, however, my t husband and I are convinced the home is haunted. I believe I was the first to experience anything supernatural. I began to hear odd sounds like footsteps coming from upstairs while I was home alone on the main floor. <laughs> My husband would tell me I was just hearing things until he had experienced them himself. He was in the garage a few months back and swears to have heard, seen a man of average build suddenly appear. At first he thought someone had broken into the garage, but when he made eye contact with him, he made a violent choking sound and vanished. Since then, my husband has been more sympathetic to my concerns. Recently, we've been starting to cat- we've been- We've started catching glimpses of a shadow moving out of the corner of our eyes. Once immediately after seeing the shadow, I heard a sinister disembodied voice. Our youngest children who share a room state that they have an imaginary friend who is a child about their age. Initially, we thought this was just imagina imaginative play, but as we are experience experiencing these oddities, I'm fearful that they are all connected. We, also, we have also experienced kitchen items being thrown about, Sometimes we simply hear a ruckus from the kitchen, but other times there is really is a mess to be cleaned up. On one occasion, a jam jar mysteriously shattered on the floor. I went to grab a broom to clean the mess, but when I turned back around, the mess vanished and everything was put back in place. I didn't stay. It doesn't seem like we are in any danger, but these events have had our family all shaken up. Could you please help us? I know you prefer to do investigations overnight, so we'll make arrangements to ensure the house is available for you. I look forward to your response. Thank you in advance. Okay. So there is how many ghosts in this place? Let's see. We have the footsteps coming from upstairs, but I think this is related to the child ghost, which we have already investigated. We have a man in the garage. Was This one had a demon, right? I swear. Ghost of a child. That's the skipping child. You have items being thrown, that's the poltergeist. You have the mess that vanished, that's also the poltergeist, which we haven't investigated yet. Um, shadows moving around. Wait, where's the demon? Is the demon even here? There was a demon in the... Oh, is the choking sound? Choking sound, maybe? I swear there was a... Oh, that, we already got that one. Wait, we need to get any, maybe, archives? Maybe demon? Demon got moved! Oh, okay. Demon, oh, they got removed and then added to the other house. That's why it looked the same. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Demon was evicted. <laughs> okay. And let's do some investigations on 
uh, on this ever greenhouse because we need to fin we need to like 100% it. So what do we got here? Remodeling provokes activity. Many families had many memories. We could just do this. Many families, many memories. Let's do this. And then we're just going to investigate all around the house. We're going to do the poltergeist. We're going to do the choking sound, the man. And we're going to look for notes and everything. We're just going to do a full, like a, 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 re, a redo of the evergreen lane. Let's do it. Didn't pay rent. Because this, this map got changed. Let's do evergreen lane. Because there's a, we only have two ghosts here, and there's definitely more ghosts to find. Completionist time. Oh, lag. Oopsie daisy. It seems like the Wentz family isn't worried about their safety. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims All right. and put their minds at ease. <laughs> Very short note. That's actually changed. I don't think we've played on this map since they changed like the way the game worked. Uh, with I mean, we have played with the notes, but not much. So yeah, we are taking basically all the notes right now. We have the kitchen uh, poltergeist. We have um, a man that appeared in the garage. We have shadows that move around. We have choking sounds. So there's a whole lot to find right now. Let's do some completionist investigation. And see if we can uh, fill out the rest of the ghosts. Because we have only two ghosts. And of one of the ghosts, we haven't even taken the picture yet in this one. So, we got lots to work on here. Uh, hi there, ghost. How are you guys doing? I'm going to grab my EMF. Maybe go to the garage first. Does the man... He heard a choking noise in the garage, right? Look at this place. The houses are so nice in this game. Hello there. You guys got two cars? I got two cars. Turn on the light. That's a very bright light. Can I go back here? Go back here? The, I don't remember that ever. There's our fingerprint! We got fingies! Take a photo. We got fingies. One car for each ghost. We have tiny screwdrivers here too. We got like 10 different wrenches, but no, sh no variety of screwdrivers. What the hell is going on here? Why is this door locked? What's behind that door? Oh, the big... Wait, they got three cars! And a friggin' whatever this is, a lawnmower? Damn. Dude, these people are rich. They got so many cars. Is that That's so weird to me that there's like... I mean, I guess that's just the way, like, the US works, where everyone has a car. That there's like families where, like, I don't know, like three kids all have their own car and then the parents both have their own car. So it's just one house with like five different cars. That seems crazy to me. All right, I'm gonna, oh, excuse me. I was just about to leave, but then I found EMF. Come on, come on, come on, stay here. These lights are Let's out. go. I should continue investigating. Nice. Maybe we can get the cold spots too. Please, please. BMF meter. Cold spots. Not behave this way. This is paranormal. Okay, there's no cold spot. Oh, there is. We're getting everything. This ghost is giving us it all on a silver platter right now. I have never. I don't think I've ever investigated the garage ghost. Did they add this ghost at one point? I don't even remember this ghost. What is the garage ghost? Wait, what? <laughs> this feels like I forgot how much they changed in this game. I like I went back one time to Evergreen Lane, but I never really truly investigated this place. So yeah, we got um one cold spot and two EMFs already. Also, did you turn off the light? I swear I left Oh no, I didn't turn this light on. Oh, that's a creepy light. I don't even want that on. That's it's even it's better with it off, honestly. This ghost story is sad. I don't I I don't know the story about this ghost at all. Cuz they I mean they had a plan for the stories of the ghosts in this game. But they didn't fully flesh them out until they added, like, the note system. And I never really w w gave these ghosts on this map in particular the, like, proper, like, in-sim seal of investigation. Where I, like, took a bunch of time to get all the audio, get all the notes and the and the rest of the, of the evidence. So you can actually, like, figure out what's going on with them. That is, this is so cool. I love the way this... It's so impressive, like, how did the dev do this? Like, did he all... He had a plan, like, from the very beginning for all these ghosts. Um, 
instead of it being just like a random like from the very beginning where this game was just an unknown indie game and no one knew about it when it was first coming out the dev already had like a plan of okay this is how the stories are gonna look like these are the ghosts that interact with each other that's especially interesting because i only realized that after we investigated the demon on the last house that the ghosts are so connected i never knew that i never realized that some ghosts are like results of like other ghosts actions such as the lady in white and their child and the demon on jefferson street that killed the family in like 1992 who was also a ghost which is very cool uh, you have you have two cars yourself but one doesn't work just two light switches two light switches that do the exact same thing where does this door leave oh there's my there's my truck it's a big garage man this is a fancy place okay so we have gotten some evidence in here i think we're gonna go to the main house now maybe we'll, we'll definitely come back here in a bit see if we can get a ghost photo but i want to i want to check out the main building too all right you you be you be a good boy over here all right no i'm gonna leave the door open don't you there hello oh, it's evil there's an evil hum in these houses so in the kitchen something is going on here these temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Okay, this house is fucked. <laughs> it's everywhere. Everywhere it's fucked. You want to talk to me? Is there anyone oh, here? Oh, I should have tried talking like to the garage ghost. Me. That's true. Up upstairs. We haven't gone upstairs at all. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Yeah, this is like truly the only ghost on the game that has like actual lore. Okay, there's also the creepy basement, which... Hi there. So there used to be a demon in this basement. We investigated that one in the past, which you can watch the previous, like the previous videos on Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI if you want to see me get absolutely terrified by this demon in the basement. I think we investigated it two or three times, but now you can never find that demon again. So I'm glad we've been playing this game from the start. Because we have seen ghosts that no one will ever see. However, that ghost has now moved to it. Ah! How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, brother? Oh, what's that? Oh, did it throw something? What? Was that? Was that a? What the hell? What was that? Dude, there's so many ghosts in this building. This is, so ha this is super haunted. So as I was saying, the demon of this basement is now moved to the Jefferson Street house, which is one of the last maps you actually unlock. Um, and it is a really cool, like my favorite ghost by far because of the way they, the, like the lore is built up and you slowly discover what happened there. So... That's one of the recent videos if you want to check out what happened with that ghost. Highly recommended. Um. I'll keep that as audio. What? Audience. What? What the fuck? That is terrifying. I've never heard that one before. Dude, there's so many ghosts in this building. What the heck? <laughs> They're everywhere! Excuse me? Hello? I need to close the front door. The ghosts are coming in. Also, a poltergeist in the kitchen, right? Anyone here? Want to talk with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is that a ghost fart? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Oh, sinister. Thank you for the nine months. All right, let's go to the garage because we haven't actually at all talk to the, the garage ghost cool man in the garage all right here you go anyone here Is there anyone here who would like to speak pretty, with pretty typical no response <clears throat> the ghost cried for help Is yeah in like the most fucked up like way of all me? time Is 
doesn't I'm gonna ask one more question over here. I just wanna Did you turn on I would never leave on this light, right? I didn't turn that on, did I? Uh how many people are here other than me? What? Did I turn that on? I might have left it on. I'm not are sure. Here other than me. Oh I didn't? The ghost did it? That must mean it's an intelligent if I did. But I must have left it on, right? Right? Must have been the must have been me forgetting the light. Must have been me forgetting to turn off my oven, right? <laughs> it's, this is how you convince yourself that nothing is going on. Alright, let's uh let's test it. Oop. Creepy noise is happening. And over here, want to is speak there to me? You'd like to tell me. I would love to talk to you. Must have been the wind. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to tell me? You turned it off because you thought it was creepy. Yeah, I thought that too. Yeah, we are gaslighting ourselves. There's stuff outside. I really like how every. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Hello? Excuse me? I heard stuff being thrown in the kitchen. I was about to say, I really like how the uh, the streets are like real streets. Like there's real houses here and trees and cars sometimes driving by and stuff like that. Very, very nice, nice details. Okay, that was terrifying. Did that happen in the kitchen? They said that there were, like, stuff being thrown over in the kitchen all the time. Oh, but there's no no mess to clean up, huh? That's also what they said, that the mess would just clean itself up magically. Poltergeist. Hello? That shadow coming into the basement was terrifying. I don't think there is a ghost in the basement. This room. What? 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 What the fucky? What the what hell? Was that? What Thought was I that? That was terrifying. Dude. Goosebumps. <laughs> what the hell? The basement is even- The basement is haunted! I thought I was saving here. What the heck, man? Ooh! Is that a bummy? Oh! What? What was what, 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 what that? I see nothing! Excuse me. Did you throw something on the ground? Is that just audio? What's going on? They're talking to me. They're everywhere. You need to look around for notes as well. What? Okay, okay, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch poltergeist. What the fuck are you doing? Every time I leave, you immediately throw stuff on the ground. What the hell, man? <laughs> what is, I'm gonna sit here until you do something. <laughs> do it again. Oh! That was sick. <laughs> we already got that photo, right? I heard I heard talking. Did I get I did not there was not no talking? And that guy is That is terrifying. They're in there's he's like all over the house, I think. So that's a ghost. Let's dissect the ghosts. What ghosts are we go are going on here? So we have this It's just audio! There's nothing! I have been lied to! Oh, uh, what? But it, 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 Conrad doesn't- ah! That's extraordinary audio. What the fuck is going on?! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Everything is fucked! <laughs> this is so different from the last time we played this game where 
where we were investigating the lady in white and nothing happened for like an hour. Yes, take the audio. Help me! Ooh, what the f- Fuck! <laughs> Dude, shut up! I wanna help you, but holy shit, what's going on? And then there's also this girl upstairs, right? I don't think we have any notes on her though, because that was the only ghost we've investigated before in this building. And this is this is awesome. Because there's so many ghosts in this building, you can take one note on every ghost and just have like six different ghosts to investigate all at once. It's like a huge mess of all kinds of different ghosts try like fighting for your attention. It's amazing. Sounds like someone needs my help. Okay, are you gonna throw something on the ground, or are you just weak? Are you a weak ghost after all? I, I I really did not realize how much they changed this. I guess I just didn't look at the patch notes properly, because this has already been a while, like, since they changed this. Cryptic Dom, thank you for the two months. That's extraordinary audio evidence. That's the poltergeist, right? Knocking? Knocking is also a pol also a poltergeist thing, right? Because they're the noise. They're it's called the noisy ghosts, right? That's what, that's what the nickname of a poltergeist is. Okay, is there anything happening in the garage right now? Hello? Did you turn the light back on? I definitely left it off this time. Okay, so. Ooh, that is eerie. That is fucked up. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, how could you, you just fucking burn the house down and live somewhere else? Just do some insurance fraud and then fucking leave and never come back. <laughs> like, what the hell? I, that's my that's my professional recommendation. Don't ever stay here again. This place is completely terrifying. Is there a note here? There should be notes, cause we, so the way notes work in this game, we still have like four notes to connect collect on this on this map. The way notes work is that if you get evidence on a ghost, uh, there will be notes that spawn for that specific ghost. So you need to collect. So so on this list, for example, like this list shows evidence for every single ghost. However, if you want notes to spawn, you need to collect evidence for a specific ghost, and then their notes will spawn wherever they can spawn. So, so And it doesn't have to be in the area where the ghost is. Like, it could be in a completely different area, but we should go around the map to see if we can find any notes on the ghost that's in the garage, for example. Um, if there's going to be any note in these bedrooms. Because there's still four that we have to find. So compare this to like one of our first episodes like because obviously we started playing on this house. It was so different Like I remember there was this other ghost that was in the kitchen as well but That ghost is gone. There was a demon in the basement which is gone now The shadow ghost is a lot more mobile. There's a ghost in the garage, which I think that never was The poltergeist has a lot more noises as well because the po oh. right. Wow, that's great audio. Nice. Conrad loves it Conrad's hyped. I'm going upstairs. It is back in the day when, when you kept on the light, kept, like, when you left the light on, Conrad would go, this is much more fun when you do it in the dark. Adonia, thank you for the 11 months. I hope eventually they're gonna add that, like, floating poltergeist thing that they have in the journal. It wasn't there? Oh, because that was for the, the girls, right? The demon, de demonic possession of the girls l left cold spots in the in the closets here, I think. Those are not there anymore because they're gone now. There's a notepad, but nothing written in it. Can we get some ghost writing? You know what I think would be cool if there's like a... I feel like the notes are sometimes a little hard to find. It would be nice if like the notes made a noise when they happen. Like when it writes a note... It would do like, and then you know that somewhere on the map you can find a note. That would help a lot. That's not a note. We have fireworks already. Yeah, people are always doing fireworks. I mean, it's 
this is it's been fireworks for months now already like not just three days away from uh the new year's okay so i don't think there's notes at least we haven't found them let's go back to the garage there's uh where's the fun in that what do you mean Did I? Oh, it's cold here. Did I turn that on? I swear this ghost is turn. I'll keep that as audio evidence. What the fuck? I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. What the heck? I swear I did not turn on this light. Like, I would never leave a light on that's so creepily blinking. So that means this must be an intelligent. Oh, yes! See? Which means it must be able to talk to me. Do you like the current family living here? There's footsteps the family said. Do you like the current family Oh, the toolbox is here? open! Wait, this is open. Is there a note in there? Wait, I didn't see that. Oh, I don't think that was... I mean, I don't remember that being open before. Stop turning on the shit, man! But I was open before, I'm guessing. Why are you here? You turned that one on, too? This, this ghost loves lights. Why are you here? Three more notes. Yeah, we need to find... Wow, that sounded like a response. Should have died there? Not a not a mayor should have died there. What? But we actually got a response though. Do you know why I'm here? What's in the closet? You can't open it. Do you know why I'm here? Uh, how many people? How many are here? people are here? This story is sad. Oh no. What is the story of the shadow? Man, there's so many questions here. We need to do like How many people it's gonna are be here tough. other than me? Give me some No. Turn off the light again. Show yourself to me. Want to speak? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? How many pickles can you fit up your ass? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Can't tell him that. Wow, that sounded like a response. Oh no! Oh no! This is sad. You hurt? Can I help you in any way? Uh oh! I didn't mean to put so many pickles in you. I'm just sorry. <laughs> I'm just. It's a joke. Can you tell me your name? Too many pickles, guys. It hurts. Can you tell me your name? I want your name. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Okay, we need to find notes on this guy. Cause that, like notes are the main way you get like concrete, like huge amounts of information about a ghost. I feel like we've already collected quite a bit on this guy. I feel like there should be a note now, but is it? Oh. That's a light switch. Yeah, thank you for demonstrating what the light switch does. Do you like the current family living here? Thank you. This is the saddest one for me. Oh, no. You guys are making me preemptively sad. Do you like the current family living here? I'll respond. Okay. A flight. Any notes? Give me a note. They're going to be in the house, right? Let's turn off all the lights. We turn off all of them, even this one. Oh, and then we'll see if they're turned back on when we come back. So now let's investigate the house. See, because we got so much audio, it should spawn some. And we even got like the whole EMF and everything on that guy, right? There should be so much evidence. Oh, we haven't checked back here. The huge freaking 
closet, man. Huge walk-in closet in the bathroom too. That's so fancy. Look at this freaking. Look at this. <laughs> look at this shower, man, with a with a bench and everything. You can you can shave your legs here, or whatever. Why would you sit down otherwise? That's so fancy. Daily news finance today. I'm a. What? Break something? Excuse me? Everything okay in here? Nothing is ever there when I come to check. That's creepy. The note is in the fridge, but you have to put the beach ball in there to get it. Dang it, I don't have the beach ball. I need to. <clears throat> That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. What the frick, man? That is so loud. All right, so where would the note to the to the guy be? I don't know. No notes at all. Give me a new note, you piece. They have two kitchens. Yeah, this might be like this is like a super fancy house. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. Hi there. This note is in the leaves next to the mower? Outside? Or what? Is in here? You found it in here? Oh, the lights are on, by the way. Okay, so it didn't spawn for me this time. Do we need more evidence on this guy? Oh, his note was gonna, it's gonna be on the ground right there. I need a ghost photo of him to find it. Hello? Anyone here? Bro is literally a shadow. Or Come over there. Really like the way shadows look in the light vision. Cut off. Here to take a photo. I've already talked to you so much. Time for you to say hi. Can we open this? We can. Look at that. <laughs> now we can access this. Not that there, I, I mean, there's not a note here, but maybe there could have been. That is pretty cool. Alright. Go show yourself. Your time. Your time to shine. We might need to do, like, multiple investigations. I think we might need to do that. We we might need to... Because we already got a full, like, golden trophy here, obviously. We might need to specialize a little bit on specific ghosts. I really want to figure out what the story is of this ghost over here. And we need to get a picture of the poltergeist. Like, isn't the poltergeist... Because we got some audio evidence on that guy. We need to, like, see what changed. Because we remember... I think that's what I think it is time for us to quickly leave. What the hell? I think I think it's definitely definitely time for us to leave real quick. <laughs> and then check what more audio we have right now cuz we must have new audio uh and new photos that we can repeat to listen like we can listen to them. Uh cuz we we got everything, right? We should have a golden trophy. Unless unless I'm mad. Get enough EMF? I did. I did. Look at that. So much EMF. And then look at the verdict that Conrad gives this, by the way. CSPI obtained conclusive evidence on the above-mentioned devices, supporting the fact that this location is haunted. More investigation are required to determine the nature of the haunting and bring closure to the entity. Okay, never mind. It used to say that they didn't have to worry because they were just peaceful, peaceful haunting ghosts, but they don't no longer says that. Um, okay, so let's listen to or first of all check the map to see how much has changed because previously We only had two ghosts here. How many ghosts do we got now? So now we got two extra ghosts here. That looks like a pot <laughs> We got five out of the six audio for this guy. We got three audio for this one We got the picture of the shadow which I don't think we previously had and this is the ghost in the garage that we need to do more investigations on and then we would love to get the picture of the Poltergeist as well, or the poltergeist thing as well. 
And then there's more ghosts. Are there only are there four, uh, only four ghosts? Are there four ghosts or more? Because it felt like the the whole place was like constantly moving, and there was stuff happening all the time. Also, look at our collection of uh, of pictures. Every time you take a picture of a ghost, a spirit of what appears to be a child. That is the ghost of the of the child that we found last time. Do we have the the lady in white here somewhere? Lady in white. I don't think that picture. Wait, maybe this one. A woman in white seen weeping in the crypts. Look at that. So yeah, we we every time you take a picture, you get an extra extra uh, photo on the wall, which is really cool. I love how much collect how much there's to collect in this game. Okay, so anyway, let's check the Evergreen Lane. We got the Skipping Child, Shadowy Screamer. Stab me. Stay me? Stay with me? Bear me? Something like that. Save me? Oh. Oh my god, that's fucked. <laughs> Jesus. I hurt. I hurt. Man, I'm glad that they gave us the, the transcription of this one. Because I would not be... It said should have died here. Should have died there. Ghost in the kitchen? That's just falling stuff. <laughs> More falling stuff. More or knocking. Oh, wait, so the poltergeist is the one that does the footsteps. He was ripping a fart. I just should fall <laughs> Stop breaking everything, man. And then there's... Okay, so we need to go back with some more... I want to figure out the story of the ghost in the garage, most of all. Because that's a ghost that didn't even know existed. It's like, completely new location with new notes that we haven't found at all yet. So let's uh, specialize in some notes on that one. And then go back in. Uh, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna do... Many families, many memories. Remodeling for folks activity. Such a sad faith. Oh, this is the tuberculosis girl. Yeah, damn. That's such a sad one. The girl that died to tuberculosis. Look at how expensive this house is. I mean, it's a fancy house, but compared to the other house in this place? Okay. Um... Uh, this is the wrong one. Now you need to go to the email. And then check. Uh, let's see. What steps upstairs? That's not the. He was in the garage. Man appeared in the garage. Choking sounds and vanished. But when he made eye contact with him, made a violent choking sound and vanished. So that's two notes on the garage man. Then we have items being thrown in the kitchen. Mess vanished. That's also one because we need to take the photo of that one. Um, we have remod. We just do many families, many memories. Remodeling provokes activity. That might be. I don't know if there's like fake notes that aren't like working because this seems like it's gonna like be on every ghost, right? It's gonna give you something on every single ghost. Remodeling pro pro provokes activity. I think we're gonna go with this. Let's go back and hope that we get it this time. Um, okay. One moment. Also, this freaking... You see, I never realized this. Do you see, do you see this, this, uh, desktop, by the way? Look right there. You a fucking guy? <laughs> I never saw that before. <laughs> There's a guy! He's creepy! Anyway, log off. Chair is a ghost. Dude. Okay, let's go back. Evergreen. We need to get this guy. Is that the red eyes? 
The big guy in the field. It seems like the... Whatever. I don't want to talk. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Alrighty. Look at that house. The OG house. This is where it all started. This is where I won't die, because you can't die in this game. Although you will be able to get injured in the near future. Which, I don't know what that kind of, like... Uh, effects it's gonna have we'll see but anyway let's go to the garage straight away because that's where we want to collect most of our evidence because we really want to get a note for this ghost so we can piece together the story like obviously it's a sad story because he doesn't seem to be very happy he seems to be hurting even after death and he seems to said that he should have died somewhere so maybe he did something bad or maybe he didn't do something bad but maybe uh He's like guilty. He's like survivor's guilt or something like that. Maybe. Anyway. Hello, I'm back. We got, we took all the notes. There's two notes on this, on the uh, ghost in the garage. There's choking sounds. And there's a man that appeared in the garage. And then we took two notes that are sound super generic. Like many families, many memories and remodeling provokes activity. Maybe that will basically like create um activity for all of the ghosts i don't know and, and the other one is for the poltergeist so we can maybe get the photo of the poltergeist because we don't have that one yet although i'm guessing the poltergeist is going to be the one that doesn't really actually have a story because it's just a freaking poltergeist the poltergeist is just chilling he's just having a fun time just kicking shit off the table like it's your cat oh here we go uh what 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 Wait a minute. What? That was so short. We go through the wall somehow? Maybe cold spots? That is F units. Why does it always start on F units? It's unacceptable. We should just put it in the setting somewhere. I drank, I drank the last of my water in the last mission. But I'll drink after stream, don't worry. Come on. I want to see... The cold temps. Yeah, industries. What does it say on there? Looking directly into the light may cause harm, but walking into it may result in your temperature. Or, wait, what? Wait. Looking directly into the light may cause harm, but walking into it may result in your permanent departure. What the fuck? <laughs> what is it? What? <laughs> Excuse me? What does that even mean? There's a note in the toolbox. There is a note in the toolbox. What? Community mourns. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Louise. Louise noticed that her son was not the same person after coming back from the war. Oh, no. Robert witnessed horrible things while he was away at war. His unit was in the thick of horrendous bloody fighting. Once he came home, the trauma was something he could not escape. He was filled with nightly flashbacks and would awake with feelings of terror like he was still in the trenches. His family saw the immense hurt, blah, 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 it did to him. He returned home without many of his friends as they were left behind and buried in the soil of a foreign land. After a few years of being home, he became dependent on habits he could not break away from. His family tried to console him, but ultimately could not alleviate his pain. In 1961, at the age of 37, he gave in to sadness and took his own life. In the very same garage, he and his father bonded over. Oh, man. <laughs> that is so fucked. So, yeah, that is his story. Which, that actually kind of... Yeah, that... that shows me so first of all before we talk about the ghost that shows me that the game works a little different than i expected because i know notes can spawn in during a mission as well but also if you do a full mission you should leave and come back sometimes there will be a note uh to find that was not spawned in the previous investigation i didn't know that because the dev has told me before that the notes spawn during the investigation but i guess they also spawn after the investigation unless it was just a bug but anyway now Obviously about the ghost, I should have died there. Makes a whole lot of sense now. I thought it was like a situation, but it was a place and then like also a situation. And then uh, this is the garage where that happened, which is, that's a sad time. What the heck, man? What a, <laughs> I mean, 
Dang. So I wonder, so that's the 1961. We need to, after this mission, we need to look in the, in the ledger of who owned the house at the time, which family that was. We will actually be able to, because, because they always, every house in this game has like a, a list of who purchased and sold the house at what year. So you can like look through, uh, and see actually like the family who, who was living there at the time that this person died, which is kind of, <laughs> it's like a really neat detail. Okay. But I don't know if anything is going to happen here. Seems like a quiet place. Maybe we should investigate the poltergeist a little bit. Go say hi to him. The poltergeist is just a chill, chill guy. He's just chilling. What this game early on? Are the new houses free? Everything. All the update updates are free. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. There's no, there's no DLC in this game. Thought I heard something. Oh, there. Can I get some EMF, please? Oh, that's just the something. What is this? Coffee machine? Oh, it's the power outlet. That is not how that works, by the way. I have an EMF myself. If I point it at the power outlet, it does not trigger. Oh, sorry. It's a very dusty EMF. <laughs> Look. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. You can, I, if I hold it against my computer, though, it goes, like, all the way up to five. My computer is haunted. Actually, it goes to four. It goes up to four. Is the camera haunted? See, the camera is not haunted. This is my... See... So oh, my computer screen doesn't do anything. Oh. oh, why is that haunted? When did it like at the at the <laughs> the legs of my tripod and and it went off? No, it doesn't. I'm not getting any. I'm not getting any EMFs, guys. My my room is officially not haunted. Oh, but this fridge is haunted. We need to open the fridge. We need to put the globe in the fridge. Uh, maybe I am haunted. It seems like this thing is like... It's so hard to like get a high reading on this. Like I don't understand how people that do like ghost investigation just get random EMF fives. Like how is that even possible? Because it's like super hard for electronics to trip it. For me at least. Maybe mine... Maybe I got a skeptic EMF. Ooh. That's the television. What the fuck? Did I get that? That was a very unusual. I voice. did get that. I'll keep that as evidence. So what? So we can see that this looks like the thing that was on the. On the. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? What's this? Just me. That looked like the thing that was on the picture when we were loading into the map. Oh, there we go. These lights are nice. Out. I should continue investigating. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, come on. We were so close to getting both of them, you peas. Hey, what's up? What are you, how are you doing? That was a very unusual noise. That was indeed an I'll unusual keep that noise. On finish my. Also, I don't know. Is the voice actor of this game the developer? I'm guessing it is. <laughs> Give me, give me EMF. That's the power outlet. Hello there. Dude, look at this light in this kitchen. That is a bright ass light. You'd be sitting here and you get blinded by your own freaking light. It is. Oh. EMF meter. Nice. This way. This is paranormal. Oh, and there's the cold spots. Yes. Are there any notes on the poltergeist? Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Come on. I almost had you. I. Oh. What? What the fuck, man? Who opened that door? That's extraordinary. Who did that? Lines. You want me to go down there? Oh? Someone, uh, someone here? Someone in the basement? Creepy son of a bitch. There's black mold here. You need to clean this. 
mean, it does give you so much extra space. Although you probably don't want to, like, have a normal room here. Is that why basements are always seen as creepy? Because they're just, like, usually storage and not a place you often go. And they're, like, dark because the lights might not have been replaced because people are... don't spend much time there. That is scary. I love it. <laughs> what the hell? There's someone messing with the doors. Hello? Does that mean, because we got so much evidence last time on all of the ghosts, does that mean there's going to be another note on, like, the other ghosts as well? Or was it just a... Oh, look at that. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> First Miriam. I have one of those. Tiny Eiffel Towers. There's, like, a hundred different stands that sell them at the Eiffel Tower place. They, like, fight for territory. They might have been removed at this point. I don't know. I, maybe there's more... Uh, legislation on that now? I don't know. People, it was a wild west when I was there. Paris, maybe? The basement of our office is set to be haunted. One co-worker said the light turned on randomly. I just spoke. Oh. oh, this noise. Same noise. Look at that. What's this Ooh, onion doing? Security audio evidence. Any notes? So the lady, the the girl up here, by the way, the skipping child, is a child that died, the uh, like tuberculosis, which is ter like super super sad. Is the one. That Why are all the stories in this map so sad, dude? <laughs> They're all so sad. This is the depression house. I mean the other house. The other house where the demon murdered the whole family is probably, like, almost even worse because it's, like, out of their control. I mean, tuberculosis is also kind of out of your control, obviously. Oh, thank you for the five gift subs. But it's, like, terrible because of it made the- it made one of their own children kill the whole family, which is fucked. <laughs> obviously. Happy deaths don't deserve ghosts. I mean, that is maybe true, I guess. All right, come on, do something. Maybe if I turn on the lights, so oh, you can't hide it from me. I don't think there's a note here. Back there, there's something against this wall. Regrets left behind. Oh, it's a mop. Oh, it was a fence. He's doing farts again. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Very unusual fart. You go over here now. Well, how much do we got? We got a bunch of EMF, we got a bunch of temperature, and we got a lot of uh, audio. Now we would really love to see the picture here. Hello, Garage Man. I mean, we could also get the note. We could fill in the notes for this guy and get more activity from him. That is another strat. I did not touch that. That was a very unusual noise. That was a I very unusual evidence. noise, Mr. Conrad. Excuse me. Is that why it's called the GI Ghost? I just realized that reference. Because we never knew... Like, that ghost felt kind of random in the past because we never knew what his full story was. But now we know. Now we know what the ghost is all about. All right, just, I don't think, I really want the poltergeist, because we have all the notes we can get on the poltergeist, so if we can just get the photo of this, we get a golden trophy, which I would love to have. Give me the golden trophy. Throw something. I have so much evidence on you. Turn off this. Come on. I can't, like, you can't talk to a poltergeist, right? Poltergeists are stupid. Conrad is always unfazed, he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care about your bullshit. Come on, throw it in my face. I dare you. I dare you throw this. 
Taking pictures. Random pictures. Take all the pictures. Can you die in this game? Nope. Not yet. Soon. Their noise. You could get EVPs from the... That was a very unusual noise. From the ghost in the garage, though. Conrad does not give a heck. Well, want to Is speak to me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? One of those chars on the counter, too, right in the sink. Is Here, thank you for the five like months. Aunt Bill, thank you for the five dollar donation. You want to talk with me, mister? Why are you here? Hey, Kate, what's Why up? Why are you here? Give me something. And then it was like, name or wait? Why am I here? Want to Is speak? That that like it gave like I hurt or something. I think that's what it said. New menu is. Is there anything you'd like nice, to tell me? Nice streamlined. No, it didn't turn on any lights here in a while, because all the lights are still off. Is there another note? Because someone said there was a note in this, like in the leaves here, which that was not where my note was. Maybe there's multiple notes. Why are you here? Why are you here? Can you take a photo of here? all the ghosts? Yes, you can. Every single ghost, even the poltergeist. And the po but the poltergeist, you won't have like a ghost photo. I, I, according, I mean, at least going off of the like outline on the on the map, it looked like a like a bottle like it was gonna throw something and then you take a photo of the thing it throws on the ground that's what i'm guessing so i think this might be a situation where the ghosts are shy because we had this with the lady in white as well remember where the ghosts just did not do as much as they did in another investigation so what i think we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of this one and then we're gonna come back with an extra note for the garage ghost and also still still keep the notes on the poltergeist and maybe instead of the remodeling notes, we fill in like some shadow person notes, so we get like the whole shebang. I think that's I think that's what we want to do. Check the jars. The jars are still there. It won't it won't leave a mess behind, right? The the ghost will always clean up after itself. So even if it threw something, it's not gonna be there still. Wait, we didn't even get the full temperature. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I should have kept going for the temperature. I mean, this is going to be like a bronze trophy. The game's going to be like, you noob. It was a pretty far bronze trophy, though. But anyway. The game has really bright lights. I like that, honestly. So many games have such low brightness on their lights for some reason. Okay. Um, so we fill in Evergreen. The, this one. Con oh, Connor. What's his name? Connor. And... Oh yeah, here, look, in, what was it, 19, oh, this is even before the time, 1961, this is before we have a record, oh no, here, Wait, what, there's two different property histories, uh, this one is 19, oh, Connor, wait, the Connor family, or Connor as a person, because how did he still own the house until 1883? If he died in 1861. What? Also, look how much money! He bought the house for 23000 and he sold it for 135000 How the hell? It was bought for 4300 I mean, I guess with, like, inflation, in, that would be, like, a significant amount of money, but holy shit. <laughs> what the hell? Buy a house for 4000 What is this? Okay, so we have that. Um, his name was Robert. Oh, I see. We need not archives. We need email. That's what we need. We need an appear in the garage. Oh, not the footsteps upstairs. Choking sounds. Then we do not the child. Items being thrown. No mess to clean up. And then where's the shadow? Shadows moving around. Okay, that's what we're gonna go in with. Three evidence or three notes on on the garage coast. 
What's this game called? It is called Connor Stevens is Paranormal PI. John Connor. Robert Connor Connor. Maybe his name was Connor, and his last name was also Connor. Connor Connor. Got any more? We have all the evidence on the poltergeist. So we have all the audio evidence. We just need the photo. And we... But wait. Why is there... Does this ghost not show up? Because it doesn't say... Look, the di it's different. This one has an exclamation mark. This one has, like, nothing here. Wait, does it not... Wait a minute. Am I doing something that I can't... No, 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 no. Never mind. So here, I know this ghost can show up. So I know that there can be a photo of that ghost. Okay, never mind. Then. Let's go back. Here we go. Maybe in a future update? No, no, no. You can do it. go i'm for connor uh to say something with the archive it has another note that's another note really i mean it's, it's a it's not that we'll just go back to make sure i doubt it maybe i should give it a little effort before no up. shut up because so, it is uh, something that happens sometimes that you get one note and then instead of one note you get two notes but i doubt i don't think that was right but it, it's a little not that much effort to check. There's something I don't know why that happens. Why does it give you two sometimes? I guess that's to prevent you from having to get too many notes. Uh yeah, Conrad is like, fuck you. Okay, let's see. Is there it's in my in the archive? Uh there's this. Oh, police report! Wait. Oh wait, this is new. Police report. Look at this. So this is what we found in the map. And the police report is new. Incident, so we got both of these at the same time, even though we didn't see this one. So, case number blah blah blah, September 9th, 1961, reporting officer Dunlevy, prepared by Dunlevy. Incident, on September 9th at 5 2 a.m., we received a call from Paul Connor stating that he found his son, Robert Connor, hanging in their family's garage. Upon arriving at the scene at 5 2 28 a.m., I observed Connor's body hanging from the garage doors opening rack i determined that emergency services were of no use and decided to call for a car coroner mary byler quite specific uh, i discussed with paul connor who was especially upset you think <laughs> you think he thought he was to blame for robert's death because he was always berating his son for being a drunk and needing to get a job louise connor robert's mo mother appeared to be in a state of shock and could not communicate he was not violent and not obscene. He could not be settled down. After Coroner Byler arrived, she pulled Louise from Robert's body so she could conduct an on-scene investigation. After interviewing both Paul and Louise Connor and discussing with cor the coroner, I determined on the scene that Robert Connor acted alone and that no foul play was involved. Action taken, cordoned cordon the area and called the coroner. Died by hanging. Damn, that sucked. <laughs> and that that was because of his 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 war like his war time he got the bad habits of being like drinking apparently and not working and his dad berated him for that which i mean that sucks that that's awful that's an awful situation and you can see right here look at this you can see that the Con connor family actually kept living into this house in this house for another like 20 years after he died because they sold it in 18 or 1983 um you can see the whole history look at that and now the house so the house was first sold for four thousand three hundred in 1932 and now it is worth three hundred thousand what the fuck <laughs> that's crazy all right so that's two notes and then we're gonna take the other notes from the email and then head back into to do a, another investigation oh boy all right uh let's add the email notes evergreen we're gonna go Raj, choking sounds. Oh no, the choking sounds! I just realized why. Oh, fuck, man, that's so fucked up, <laughs> dude. This game is not pulling any punches. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we got everything. Let's head back in. <laughs> that is effed up. Up to the dev for making such an interesting game. Yeah, I know. Yeah, for that is a huge investment. Uh, all right, here we go. We we have the extra notes this time. 
Two notes? Yeah, we still need two notes, but I don't know which ghost those are. Alrighty. So we got we got so much stuff on, on Connor now. One, two, three, four different notes on Connor, and then two on the poltergeist as well, so we can finish off that one if we get lucky and maybe get the maybe get the polter photo. But I'm mostly gonna be focusing on the garage man, because I, I wanna I wanna be respectful and, and finish off the investigation. Do a full investigation on this on this lost soul, and maybe we can help him move on to the afterlife in the next update. Because I mean, that's not going to be the next update, but there's going to be updates in the future where they're going to add exorcisms, like ways for you to help the ghost move on, which is like that's going to be crazy. Oh yeah, here we are with four notes. This is going to be a lot more activity. Why does it so it turn? It's actually like an intelligent ghost because it turns on lights as well. Not just, uh, no note here still. Cause we still need to find, we still need to find two more notes in the, for this map, but that might not be for this ghost. Cause I feel like we already found the notes for this ghost. I doubt the poltergeist is going to have a note. So it's probably going to be the shadow ghost. Maybe cause we don't know anything about the shadow ghost actually, but what the hell? Yeah. We don't know anything about the shadow ghost. We need to investigate that in the future. Hello? what are you doing? Nothing here. No evidence. It spawns in the leaves of the toolbox, but we already found... There's no way there's three notes for this one ghost, right? That would be crazy. Oh, it, it spawns in two locations, I see. It spawns either there or in the toolbox. And then you get both of them. That makes sense. Behind me. There ghosts. Is this not the active ghost? This is just have to warm up. It's so weird that sometimes you can have no notes on a ghost and it's more active than four notes. It's just... Oh, here we go. Never mind. That's, that's pretty fast. Hmm, these nice. temp readings are unusual. One. Give me both. Oh. Sometimes Let's go, and then maybe EMF as well. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. There's no... Oh, there's EMF! You're going into the wall. Okay, he went into the wall or he walked over. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, all right. These lights are acting. Let's fun. go. I should continue investigating. Dude, I'm farming. Come on. Come on. Come on. EMF Let's go. <laughs> that was so close to being it. He was completely full. All right. So the ghost is walking around here. Let's see if we can talk to the ghost. Why are you Why here? Why are you here? Talk to me. Why are you here? Such a subtle game. It's interesting how all of the ghosts Is on the games have completely like different approaches to scaring you. Like this ghost is, or this ghost game is not all scares. It's also like about like creepy lore and. Um, like atmosphere surrounding figuring out the ghost like there's there's different gameplay here that's not or like all revolving around making you scared because like in phasmo or most ghost hunting games it's all about like you staying alive and or being scared like both at the same time Can i guess tell me your name whereas here it's also about you wanting to investigate the ghost can you tell me your name talk to me Ask if anyone is here. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Maybe I'm not in the right place. I mean, I got EMF here just now. Live here? I mean, they used to. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? You're going to hear the choking sounds. Want to speak? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? I think I'm sent. I think I should walk over there, maybe. Because this is where we got the evidence last time. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Don't know I want to talk today. No talking. Over here, maybe. On the pile of leaves. No, I doubt it. Let's go over here. Sprint, you're so much faster now. <laughs> it used to not be a sprint. This used to be the maximum speed you could walk at, but now you can do this. Not turning on lights yet. Uh, Why are you here? What did it say again? 
Just it, it answered some questions. I think it answered. Do you want to Is say anything, anything you'd like to tell me? I think it answered this one in the past. Open the garage door. Oh. Is there anything you'd like to? Wait tell a minute. Me? Where was the guy hanging again? Because he was hanging from something. From this? Oh God. <laughs> Can I open this one? I can't open this one. What the heck? This is so much... There's a river here! What? <laughs> I didn't even know that. That is so cool. Oh, why is there so much detail in this game? There's a little bench, you can chill. That is really cool. <laughs> I didn't have no idea. Cause the, the river is possibly probably going to show up on the map then too. Because I know this this game is like the map of the game. Like when you're loading into a match or like choosing which location to go to, that is actually like like thought out where every single location is. I think I'm going to close these because harder to see if there's no background. Oh, I heard noises. Go to the poltergeist. I think I think Connor needs some time alone, real quick. Hello here. Hello there. I have a... Oh, he definitely wants to talk. <laughs> Ooh, that is eerie. That is indeed audience. eerie. Can you throw something? That is disgusting. Why didn't you clean your dishes before I arrived? You guys left-handed? I always... You guys put the soap on the left or the right side of the faucet. I usually do the right side. Maybe that's... Maybe I'm too... About this. Talk to me. Soap is on the left? Fuck, maybe I'm the weirdo. <laughs> Both sides. <laughs> Right, so, I mean, there's no the other question, which I can never understand people that do this. Like, when you have the toilet roll, you have to hang it like this. I can't believe there's people out there on the planet that hang the toilet roll, like, with the thing against the wall. What kind of fucked up shit is that? Who does that? And why? You psychopath? Like, people do that. Makes me mad. Oh! No! Or are you not doing anything? It's it's so weird that sometimes you get a ghost that like goes super crazy with no notes. Or like no notes. You have to have at least some notes. Oh! Oh! What? Oh, there he is! Incredible. A photo of an entity? <laughs> That's so sad. I'll keep that as audio evidence. That's so sad. Let's go. We finally got him. So that is actually, I think we have like, th that is a completed mission. Well, on him. And also we need some more audio evidence, but holy shit. That was, we saw him. We finally saw him. That is the same guy who usually, who used to show up in the kitchen, but now he's showing up in the garage after they added more of the story. That's so cool. We need to go to Polk Street as well then, because I didn't realize this was the way the game worked, that they had like completely reworked everything and didn't take the notes seriously enough. I, I was like going into my gameplay loop where I'm like, okay, so notes are used to make the ghost more active. Noted. Nerd glasses, actually. But you should like experience the game and you should use the notes not as like entirely a gameplay thing, but you should use them as like a way to really discover the story. Cause without the notes, we had a tough time figuring out anything like conclusive about the ghosts we had. So now I want to know if we were onto something, remember a long time ago, we were investigating the boy. We were investigating the boy in blue and we were speculating that, that the, audio that the, uh, that that ghost was like the result of some kind of, um, like family homicide and i want to know if that's actually the case so we need to investigate that one next time all right come on we need to like 
We may have three pieces of audio evidence. I think if you get more than three, it's going to count as a proper investigation. So we just need to get like one more audio evidence. Which we have all the audio evidence for the poltergeist. We just need the photo. But this guy doesn't want to throw the damn pot, you piece of garbage. You piece of shit. Throw the damn pot, I'm telling you. I'm going to... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> it helped me. Who is that? I'm glad I um... captured it with a recorder. Did you, I'm going to count down from five, and you're going to throw the pot at five. One, or five, count down from five, and I start at one. What the fuck is wrong with me? Five, four, three, two, one. You're a piece of shit. Never mind. I'll keep that as What the fuck? How did you time that so well? You threw the wrong pot, though, you damn fool. <laughs> What the heck? Okay. Okay, so that is... I don't know if we're gonna get that, but let's see if we... Did I get audio evidence? I've obtained more than three pieces. Okay, you wanna have anything to say? Those are just footsteps. There's no, like, actually a ghost walking around. Evidence. You can you just spam this. This is like a farm. You can farm evidence with this. Wow, that's great audio. <laughs> you can just keep spamming it. Alrighty, well, I think that's where uh, that's where we're going to leave. We have done a full investigation on this ghost, which is a much sadder story than I uh, than I anticipated. I don't think the poltergeist is going to have any lore. Maybe. Uh, I still need to figure out how to get the other two notes on this map. I think next time, if we go back to this map, we should investigate the shadowy... Like, the shadow. Because I think this, we don't know anything about the Shadow story. We have no idea what that one's all about. Which, considering they scream at you that you should help them, like, help me, probably means that they are... <laughs> they also have a very sad story. Seems like this house is just like a complete depression zone. But yeah, that's another golden trophy. Which I, How many golden trophies do I have at this point? I can check in the, in the screen right here. You can check. Uh, over here uh there's the wiki and you can go to slime i think yeah 14 golden trophies so eventually you're going to be able to buy items here but we can't do that yet because they don't have any new items now how close are we to completing these ghosts i don't think we had all the audio evidence on the on this ghost we have everything on the shadow except the story we have oh, so look at that that's terrifying we have the photo of uh robert Wright, robert connor uh, but we only have half the audio evidence. We have all the audio evidence on the poltergeist, but we don't have the photo. Uh, so yeah, besides that, we are actually almost done with this house. We need to, however, check out, uh, Polk Street, because Polk Street, we still have no idea about this boy. Uh, we don't have any of the notes, I think, because let's, l let's look quickly at the notes. Let's see where we stand right now. Wait, wait, where's the photo? Oh, this one. Look, we got a new trophy. The proof we needed. Half body apparition. The proof we needed. Nice. We almost have them all. I want to get all the ghost uh, ghost photos. Now, let's see. How many archives are we missing? We are missing, for Evergreen, we're missing two notes. So I have no idea what these are for, but I would love to find them. It's probably for one of the ghosts. I'm guessing the Shadow. Um, and for Polk Street, we are still also missing two, which I'm guessing are going to be for the boy. So we need to investigate the boy there. And then for Jefferson, we have them all. Jefferson we completed, which if you want to see that one, you can watch the previous video. Uh, and then for Spruce Street, we still need three things, which I guess are going to be for the eyes ghost, maybe. And maybe the cult is going to have some more stuff. Or the no, 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 probably the ghost in the in the cemetery, because we haven't investigated that one at all. But yeah, anyway, there's still stuff to do, and there's still more updates coming. I'm super excited for this game, and I hope you enjoyed uh, me playing through one of the older houses and check and seeing how much the game has changed since we played it when, when it first came out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash intim every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And if you want to watch more of this, by the way, you can always check the playlist. I'll link it over in the top right. We have a huge playlist of Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. I've played this game a ton. So there's a lot to watch if you want more of this. But anyway, I'll see you around. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>